एच डी एफ सी होम लोन्स अपनी जगह बनाओ खुरदार घर सजाना कोई मामूली बात नहीं है क्या ले ए, क्या ले ए, घर के लिए क्या ले क्या ये भी अच्छा है वो भी अच्छा है पता नहीं ये यहाँ क्यों रखा है इसको छोड़ छोटा बच्चा है भैया कुछ वैरायटी दिखाओ ना देखिए आगे पीछे जहाँ तक जाती नजर आई जो भी दिक्कत है उसे बैग में भर ले ये भी वो भी हमको दिखाओ शॉपिंग करना ना हमको सिखाओ हमें पता हमें क्या चाहिए है बाबा तुम बस आगे बात बढ़ाओ घर सजाने के लिए कुछ भी नहीं पर घर खरीदने के लिए सिर्फ एच डी एफ सी होम लोन गाना कैसा लगा बराबर प्रेजेंटेशन नहीं ऊपर वाले फ्लैट के लिए होम लोन पर ब्रांच विजिट ऑनलाइन इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल नहीं नहीं यू डू होम लोन आई एल डू भिंडी इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल What's up, bro? Home loan. मैं नहीं जाऊंगी तेरा पेपर वर्क करने इट्स ऑनलाइन इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल ओ वो मेरी बाइक इज है वो वापस दे पता है सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल होम लोन के डॉक्यूमेंट सबमिट करने ये सबमिट होगा ऑनलाइन और ये सबमिट होगा तुम्हारे स्कूल ग्रुप पर अरे नहीं यार प्लीज ऑफिस कॉल कंस्ट्रक्शन लोन माँ वो अपने प्लॉट पे अपना घर इंटरनेट पे ऑनलाइन इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल न्यू नॉर्मल आप कहा जा रहे शादी वीडियो कॉल पे वही न्यू नॉर्मल वी आर द फायर स्टार्टर्स ऑफ अ न्यू वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर एंड इट्स आर टाइम इन द लाइम लाइट 
We hashtag our goals. The struggle is real. Running after passions. Visions we've seen. We're busy living, loving. You can't tame us. Can't frame us. We champion independence. We believe we're a generation raised on dreams. Everything is possible, they said. You repeated the words and live it over and over again. Slow down. You seek a place to call your own. A haven to return to. Your own little world. A home to withdraw to. Freedom that only you can lay claim to. HDFC Home Loans. Apne jagah banao. घर सजाना कोई मामूली बात नहीं है क्या ले ए, क्या ले ए, घर के लिए क्या ले क्या ये भी अच्छा है वो भी अच्छा है पता नहीं ये यहाँ क्यों रखा है इसको छोड़ छोटा बच्चा है भैया कुछ वैरायटी दिखाओ ना देखिए आगे पीछे जहाँ तक जाती नजर आई जो भी दिक्कत है उसे बैग में भर ले ये भी वो भी हमको दिखाओ शॉपिंग करना ना हमको सिखाओ हमें पता हमें क्या चाहिए है बाबा तुम बस आगे बात बढ़ाओ घर सजाने के लिए कुछ भी नहीं पर घर खरीदने के लिए सिर्फ एच डी एफ सी होम लोन गाना कैसा लगा बराबर Presentation? No, it's for the home loan for the flat. But the branch visit? It's online. It's the new normal. No, no. You do home loan. I'll do Bhindi. It's the new normal. What's up, bro? Home loan. मैं नहीं जाऊंगी तेरा paper work करने. It's online. It's the new normal. Hmm. Oh, वो मेरी bike है वो वापस दे. पता है social distancing. It's the new normal.
कहा होम लोन के डॉक्यूमेंट सबमिट करने ये सबमिट हो गए ऑनलाइन और ये सबमिट होगा तुम्हारे स्कूल ग्रुप पर अरे नहीं यार प्लीज ऑफिस कॉल कंस्ट्रक्शन लोन माँ वो अपने प्लॉट पे अपना घर इंटरनेट पे ऑनलाइन इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल न्यू नॉर्मल आप कहा जा रहे शादी वीडियो कॉल पे वही न्यू नॉर्मल वी आर द फायर स्टार्टर्स ऑफ न्यू वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर and it's our time in the limelight we hashtag our goals the struggle is real running after passions visions we've seen we're busy living loving you can't tame us can't frame us We champion independence. We believe we're a generation raised on dreams. Everything is possible, they said. You repeated the words and live it over and over again. Slow down. You seek a place to call your own. A haven to return to. Your own little world. A home to withdraw to. Freedom that only you can lay claim to. HDFC Home Loans. Apni jagah banao. खुरदार घर सजाना कोई मामूली बात नहीं है क्या ले ए, क्या ले ए, घर के लिए क्या ले क्या ये भी अच्छा है वो भी अच्छा है पता नहीं ये यहाँ क्यों रखा है इसको छोड़ छोटा बच्चा है भैया कुछ वैरायटी दिखाओ ना देखिए आगे पीछे जहाँ तक जाती नजर आई जो भी दिक्कत है उसे बैग में भर ले ये भी वो भी हमको दिखाओ शॉपिंग करना ना हमको दिखाओ हमें पता हमें क्या चाहिए है बाबा तुम बस आगे बात बढ़ाओ घर सजाने के लिए कुछ भी ले पर घर खरीदने के लिए सिर्फ एच डी एफ सी होम लोन गाना कैसा लगा बराबर Presentation? No, it's for the flat for the home loan. But branch visit? It's online. It's the new normal. No, no. You do home loan. I'll do Bhindi. It's the new normal. Morning, everyone. Uh, Mansi, I think we're ready for the quarterly review. Please take it over. Right. 
so quarter one actually has been pretty good for the year and as far as we're looking at What's up, bro? Home loan. मैं नहीं जाऊंगी तेरा पेपर वर्क करने. It's online. It's the new normal. Hmm. Oh, oh, मेरी बाइक ही जाओ वापस दे. पता है. Social distancing. It's the new normal. होम लोन के डॉक्यूमेंट सबमिट करने ये सबमिट हो गए ऑनलाइन और ये सबमिट होगा तुम्हारे स्कूल ग्रुप पर अरे नहीं यार प्लीज ऑफिस कॉल कंस्ट्रक्शन लोन माँ वो अपने प्लॉट पे अपना घर इंटरनेट पे ऑनलाइन इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल न्यू नॉर्मल आप कहाँ जा रहे हैं? शादी, वीडियो कॉल पे, वही? New normal? We are the fire starters of a new world order. And it's our time in the limelight. We hashtag our goals. The struggle is real. Running after passions. Visions we've seen. We're busy living, loving. You can't tame us. Can't frame us. We champion independence. We believe we're a generation raised on dreams. Everything is possible, they said. You repeated the words and live it over and over again. Slow down. Seek a place to call your own. A haven to return to. Your own little world. A home to withdraw to. Freedom that only you can lay claim to. HDFC Home Loans. Apni jagah banao.
घर सजाना कोई मामूली बात नहीं है क्या ले ए, क्या ले ए, घर के लिए क्या ले क्या ये भी अच्छा है वो भी अच्छा है पता नहीं ये यहाँ क्यों रखा है इसको छोड़ छोटा बच्चा है भैया कुछ वैरायटी दिखाओ ना देखिए आगे पीछे जहाँ तक जाती नजर आई जो भी दिक्कत है उसे बैग में भर ले वो भी वो भी हमको दिखाओ शॉपिंग करना ना हमको दिखाओ हमें पता हमें क्या चाहिए है बाबा तुम बसे आगे बात बढ़ाओ घर सजाने के लिए कुछ भी नहीं पर घर खरीदने के लिए सिर्फ एच डी एफ सी होम लोन गाना कैसा लगा बराबर Presentation? No, it's for the flat for the home loan. But branch visit? It's online. It's the new normal. No, no. You do home loan. I'll do Bhindi. It's the new normal. What's up, bro? Home loan. मैं नहीं जाऊंगी तेरा पेपर वर्क करने। It's online. It's the new normal. Hmm. Oh, oh, मेरी बाइक ही जाओ वापस दे। पता है सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग। It's the new normal. होम लोन के डॉक्यूमेंट सबमिट करने ये सबमिट हो गए ऑनलाइन और ये सबमिट होगा तुम्हारे स्कूल ग्रुप पर अरे नहीं यार प्लीज ऑफिस कॉल कंस्ट्रक्शन लोन माँ वो अपने प्लॉट पे अपना घर इंटरनेट पे ऑनलाइन इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल न्यू नॉर्मल आप कहाँ जा रहे? शादी, वीडियो कॉल पे, वही? न्यू नॉर्मल? We are the fire starters of a new world order. And it's our time in the limelight. We hashtag our goals. The struggle is real. Running after passions. Visions we've seen. We're busy living, loving. You can't tame us. Can't frame us. We champion independence. We believe we're a generation raised on dreams. Everything is possible, they said. You repeated the words and live it over and over again. Slow down. Seek a place to call your own. A haven.
given to return to. Your own little world. A home to withdraw to. Freedom that only you can lay claim to. HDFC Home Loans. Apne jagah banao. खुरदार घर सजाना कोई मामूली बात नहीं है क्या ले ए, क्या ले ए, घर के लिए क्या ले क्या ये भी अच्छा है वो भी अच्छा है पता नहीं ये यहाँ क्यों रखा है इसको छोड़ छोटा बच्चा है भैया कुछ वैरायटी दिखाओ ना देखिए आगे पीछे जहाँ तक जाती नजर आई जो भी दिक्कत है उसे बैग में भर ले ये भी वो भी हमको दिखाओ शॉपिंग करना ना हमको सिखाओ हमें पता हमें क्या चाहिए है बाबा तुम बस आगे बात बढ़ाओ घर सजाने के लिए कुछ भी ले पर घर खरीदने के लिए सिर्फ एच डी एफ सी होम लोन गाना कैसा लगा बराबर प्रेजेंटेशन नहीं ऊपर वाले फ्लैट के लिए होम लोन पर ब्रांच विजिट ऑनलाइन इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल नहीं नहीं यू डू होम लोन आई एल डू भिंडी इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल What's up, bro? Home loan. मैं नहीं जाऊंगी तेरा पेपर वर्क करने इट्स ऑनलाइन इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल ओ वो मेरी बाइक इज है वो वापस दे पता है सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल होम लोन के डॉक्यूमेंट सबमिट करने ये सबमिट हो गए ऑनलाइन और ये सबमिट होगा तुम्हारे स्कूल ग्रुप पर अरे नहीं यार प्लीज ऑफिस कॉल कंस्ट्रक्शन लोन मा वो अपने प्लॉट पे अपना घर इंटरनेट पे ऑनलाइन इट्स द न्यू नॉर्मल न्यू नॉर्मल आप कहा जा रहे हैं? शादी वीडियो कॉल पे वही न्यू नॉर्मल
We are the fire starters of a new world order. And it's our time in the limelight. We hashtag our goals. The struggle is real. Running after passions. Visions we've seen. We're busy living, loving. You can't tame us. Can't frame us. We champion independence. We believe. We're a generation raised on dreams. Everything is possible, they said. You repeated the words and live it over and over again. Slow down. You seek a place to call your own. A haven to return to. Your own little world. A home to withdraw to. Freedom that only you can lay claim to. HDFC Home Loans. Apne jaga banao. खुरदार घर सजाना कोई मामूली बात नहीं है क्या ले क्या ले घर के लिए क्या ले क्या ये भी अच्छा है वो भी अच्छा है पता नहीं ये यहाँ क्यों रखा है इसको छोड़ छोटा बच्चा है भैया कुछ वैरायटी दिखाओ ना देखिए आगे पीछे जहाँ तक जाती नजर आई जो भी दिक्कत है उसे बैग में भर ले ये भी वो भी हमको दिखाओ शॉपिंग करना ना हमको सिखाओ हमें पता हमें क्या चाहिए है बाबा तुम बस आगे बात बढ़ाओ घर सजाने के लिए कुछ भी ले पर घर खरीदने के लिए सिर्फ एच डी एफ सी होम लोन गाना कैसा लगा बराबर Dear shareholders, good morning and a very warm welcome to the 44th annual general meeting of Housing Development Finance Corporation Limited through video conferencing. As a reminder for the smooth conduct of the meeting, the members will be in the mute mode and audio and video will be open when they speak at the AGM as per the pre-registration. Please note that as for the pre requirements, the proceedings of the annual general meeting will be recorded and available on the website of the company. I now hand over the proceedings to Mr. Deepak S. Parekh, Chairman of Housing Development Finance Corporation Limited.
Over to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, uh, dear shareholders. Good morning to all of you. I hope you and your family are safe and in good health. On behalf of the board of directors and on my behalf, I welcome you all to the 44th annual general meeting of your corporation conducted, conducted through video conferencing. It is 11 a.m. and I have been informed that the necessary quorum is present. I accordingly call this meeting to order. I'm happy to announce that we have a full attendance of the board at this AGM. And I'd like to thank all the directors for making yourself available despite this being a busy period for AGMs and board meetings. At the outset, I'd like to mention that as per applicable law, the tenure of Mr. Nasser Manji and Dr. JJ Irani as independent directors of the corporation ends on the close of business hours today. On behalf of the corporation and its board, I would like to place on record our gratitude to both the directors. Mr. Nasser Manji has been associated with HDFC for 43 years and has seen the company grow from inception to where it stands today. Dr. JJ Irani is a veteran director of the corporation and has played a critical role as chairman of the nomination and remuneration committee of the corporation. The corporation has benefited in immensely from their vast experience and wise counsel. We will always be indebted to them for their contribution over the years. Thank you once again, Nasser, for all the wisdom you have shared with us. And I value your every contribution to HDFC, then to IDFC and to me personally. It will be a big loss for us to see you go, Nasser. Thank you also, Jamshed. Um, I shall be always be grateful for the experience, the expertise, your wise counsel and your varied perspectives, particularly in leading the NRC for so many years. In attendance at this AGM are representatives of the statutory auditors, secretarial auditors and the scrutinizer. Members of the senior management and company secretary are also participating in this meeting. Since there is no physical presence of shareholders, the requirement of appointing proxies was not available to the members of the corporation. The registrars and other documents as required are available on, for online inspection during the AGM. I'll now proceed with the agenda for the meeting. Owing to the pandemic, the annual report and notice convening the AGM were sent through email to members whose email addresses are registered. The notice and annual report are also available on the corporation's website. We have taken adequate steps and efforts to enable the members to participate and vote on items being considered at this meeting. Since there are no qualifications, observations or comments of the on the financial or matters which have any adverse effect on the functioning of the corporation in the statutory auditors report, and the secretarial auditor's report, the same are not required to be read. I hope you have read the annual report and assessed the standalone and consolidated performance during the last financial year and are aware of the resolutions proposed to be passed at this meeting. There are 10 resolutions which are be being passed today. The 9th and 10th resolution are special resolution pertaining to increase in borrowing powers of the corporation and issuing of non-convertible debentures in hybrid format. In terms of the overall macroeconomic environment, the key challenge remains the unpredictability of the virus. The world is still susceptible to recurring waves of infections. Thus, economic re recovery will remain uneven and patchy. Owing to the second wave, the Indian economy is likely to mirror a similar trend as seen last year in financial year 21, wherein the first half of the financial year is weaker and the second half is significantly stronger. I remain confident that India's macroeconomic fundamentals are strong, recovery is underway, 
And there are a number of positive factors we have to look forward to, such as our foreign exchange reserves and foreign direct investment inflows have scaled record highs despite the pandemic. Capital markets are buoyant. IPO market is even more buoyant. Agriculture growth is expected to remain strong with food grain production estimated at over 305 million tons. The Reserve Bank of India is committed to supporting growth through an accommodative monetary policy. And the government of India has taken several reforms and measures to alleviate COVID-19 related stress. The government has widened the scope of the emergency credit line guarantee scheme to support individuals and to support businesses impacted by COVID-19. The scheme helps to channel credit to where it is needed the most. The key laggard remains overall credit growth, which continues to remain tepid. The pandemic has reaffirmed that there can be no greater security in life than a home of your own. The inherent demand for home loans continues to remain strong. Even in terms of commercial real estate, most companies that we have talked to have not given up their office premises. With the e-commerce boom, demand for real estate is coming from warehousing and fulfillment centers. Similarly, with the buildup of digital infrastructure, demand for data centers have increased. These are segments of the real estate sector that have potential to grow immensely. Across the backdrop of the pandemic, HDFC had articulated that there are three key monitorables that we should be aware of and we should be working towards liquidity growth and asset quality it's always been liquidity growth and asset quality the corporation has been maintaining higher levels of liquidity only as a prudent measure in terms of growth the national lockdown impacted individual loans but once restrictions were eased the demand surpassed all expectations we are confident that demand for housing will continue to be strong. Asset quality has been challenging for non-individual loans at the systemic level. The corporation has always been prudent in identifying loans where they could be stressed and has adequately provided for such loans. For instance, in the financial year 21, demand was for housing was from both affordable housing segment as well as high-end property. The average size of individual loans stood at 29.5 lakhs this year compared to 27 lakhs in the previous year. The assets under management at March 31st, 2021 stood at 5 lakh 69,894 crores, recording a growth of 10%. Now, in accordance with regulatory norms, gross non-performing loans as at March 31st, 2021, stood at 9,759 crore, constituting 1.98% of the loan portfolio. As per regulatory norms, the corporation is required to carry total provisions of 5,491 crore. The actual provisions carried as at March 31st, 2021 stood at 13,025 crores. The provisions carried as a percentage of the exposure at default is equivalent to 2.62%. The standalone profit after tax for the year ended March 31st was 12,027. Based on the performance of the company, the board of directors recommended a dividend of 23 rupees per equity share of face value of 2 for the financial year 2021. As you recall, last year the board had recommended and the shareholders had approved a dividend of 21 rupees, which was 20.5% payout ratio. This year, the 23 rupees that we are, we are putting in this AGM for your approval 
the payout ratio is 34.5. The payment of dividend will commence from Thursday, July 22nd onwards, subject to passing of the resolution today. The corporation had provided the remote e-voting facilities to all its members to cast their vote on the following resolutions pr proposed at the meeting. As I said, there are 10 resolutions, adoption of financial statements and consolidated and dividend. I'm not going through all the resolutions, except again mention that 9 and 10 are special resolutions. To facilitate the members who could not cast their votes through remote e-voting, the corporation has offered the facility of e-voting during this meeting through the e-voting portal of NSDL, which shall commence after the conclusion of the Q&A session. There will, be no there will be no voting on resolutions by show of hands. I would now like to invite questions from the shareholders who have registered themselves to speak at this meeting. May I request you to be brief and restrict your questions at, at the, uh, to the matter set out in the notice and the annual accounts at the operations of your company. We have a large number of shareholders who have requested to speak. So may I request not to repeat too many questions which have been asked earlier. I will respond to your queries after all the shareholders have asked the questions. And I will request after that our Vice Chairman and Managing Director, Keki Mistri, to take some of the answers, take some of your questions. I shall now request the moderator to read out the names of the speaker shareholders in the order of their registrations. I think the first speaker is Asha Lata Maheshwari. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Participants are requested to unmute their microphone and the video when their names are announced. And we would request participants to restrict your questions or comments to three minutes in the interest of time. Our first speaker shareholder is Ms. Asha Lata Maheshwari. Chairman, sir, my voice comes. My voice comes. Chairman, sir. Come. श्रीमान चेयरमैन साहब मेरे सभी डायरेक्टर भाई आप सबको मेरा सादर नमस्कार चेयरमैन साहब मेरा नाम आशा लता महेश्वरी चेयरमैन साहब मेरा मन था कि आप सबसे मिल, मिलना हो जाए पर मैं निराश हो गई कि इस साल भी आपसे मिलना नहीं हो रहा चेयरमैन साहब मैंने बैलेंस शीट देखी है यही कहूंगी पहले ऐसी बैलेंस शीट बनाई है जैसे बाल जैसे वाल्मीकि जी ने पूरी रामायण लिख दी है बहुत बढ़िया बैलेंस शीट बनाई है चेयरमैन साहब मेरे दिल में यही ख्याल आता है कि एच कंपनी को इतने अवार्ड मिले हैं जैसे कंपनी ऑफ द ईयर वाइट गोल्डन पीकक अवार्ड पीकक अवार्ड अन्य सभी अवार्ड मिले हैं चेयरमैन साहब आप सबको मेरी बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं हैं पूरी टीम को बहुत बहुत बधाइयां हैं यहाँ मुझे जरा सा ये कहूंगी एक दुआ मांगते हैं हम अपने भगवान से और चाहते हैं आपकी खुशी पूरे दिल से सब हसरतें पूरी हों आपकी और आप सब मुस्कुराते रहें दिलो जान से चेयरमैन साहब मैं बोर्ड ऑफ बोर्ड को बहुत धन्यवाद देती हूँ इतने मुश्किल समय में भी शेयर होल्डर का तेईस रुपया का डिविडेंड दिया का डिविडेंड दिया है आपसे हमारा सजेशन है चेयरमैन साहब एक दो कि शेयर होल्डर शेयर का भाव आप स्प्लिट क्यों नहीं कर देते देखिए दो रुपए का शेयर एक रुपया कर दीजिए लोग जो हैं इसको अफोर्ड कर सकेंगे और बहुत लोग बन जाएंगे हमारे शेयर होल्डर तो मेरा ये एक सजेशन है जरा नोट कीजिए स्प्लिट करने का और चेयरमैन साहब अक्टूबर 45 का जो साल शुरू हो गया है मैं आपसे एक रिक्वेस्ट करती हूँ हो सके चेयरमैन साहब तो एक बोनस अनाउंस कर दीजिए मैं दो साल से आपसे बोनस मांग रही हूँ सो बोनस अनाउंस कर दीजिए मैं आपको अर्जी तो बोनस की देती हूँ और यही कहूंगी ना होली पर दीदार हुआ ना मिलना हुआ ईदों पर चेयरमैन साहब अब तो मेरी उम्र निकल रही है बोनस की उम्मीदों पर जरा सोचिए आप बोनस के लिए जरूर गौर फरमाइए 
और स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ मिस्ट्री जी आपकी लीडरशिप और मैनेजमेंट की मैं क्या तारीफ करूं आपके काम की तो सब जगह तारीफ हो रही है आपने दीपक पारिक जी का बनाया हुआ कल्चर मेंटेन किया हुआ है आपके तो कंपनी के रिजल्ट जो आपने दिए हैं आपकी अच्छाई वो रिजल्ट बताती है इतनी मेहनत से आपने किया और ऐसे समय में आपने इतने अच्छे रिजल्ट बताए हैं रिजल्ट बताते हैं मैंने एक डायरेक्टर रिपोर्ट में पढ़ा कि आपका प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स 30 परसेंट बढ़ा है और डिपॉजिट में भी ट्वेंटी परसेंट थर्टी बढ़ा और डिपॉजिट में भी थर्टीन की बढ़त है आपकी लोन बुक भी में भी दस परसेंट की ग्रोथ है इतने मुश्किल समय में भी आपने इतने अच्छे रिजल्ट बताए हैं ये सब बताती है कि जगह जगह आपकी तारीफ हो रही है जो जो कहूंगी चेयरमैन साहब मंजिल अपनी पाकर जग में धूम मचाई है कामयाबी जो मिली आपको सब आप सबको बहुत बहुत बधाई है चेयरमैन साहब मैं ये एक बात और कहना चाहती हूँ मेरे दिल की बात है चेयरमैन साहब जैसा कि दीपक आपका नाम भी दीपक है जैसा कि दीपक अंधकार को मिटाता है वैसे आपने कॉरपोरेट जग में अपनी मिसाल बनाई है मैं यहाँ तक कहूंगी चेयरमैन साहब बेशक उस दिन जमीन को सितारों से सजाया जाएगा बेशक उस दिन जमीन को सितारों से सजाया जाएगा जब आपका नाम फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर से पुकारा जाएगा ये कहूंगी बस यही मेरी आपको बहुत बहुत इसी बात की दुआएं हैं और चेयरमैन साहब लास्ट में मैं कहना चाहती हूँ मेरा सजेशन है मैं धन्यवाद देती हूँ श्री अग्रवाल जी के और लक्ष्मी जी को एकदम बहुत बढ़िया रिजल्ट बताते हैं और प्रॉब्लम को एकदम हल कर देते हैं इतने सीनियर हैं ऐसे लोग बहुत कम देखने को मिलते हैं चेयरमैन साहब यहाँ मेरा एक सजेशन है कि आप अजय को अजय को बहुत सालों से जानती हूँ जैसा कि तो अजय को आप ग्रुप कंपनी का हेड क्यों नहीं बना देते जो कि बहुत मैं पक्का यकीन से कह सकती हूँ कि वो इतने होनहार ईमानदार और तजुर्बेकार हैं कि उनके आने से पूरे जब पूरे ग्रुप का आप उनको हेड बना देंगे तो और कंपनियों को भी उनसे बहुत मदद मिलेगी ये चला मेरा फरमाइश है और आप थोड़ा गौर फरमाइए और लास्ट में चेयरमैन साहब मैं कहूंगी मैं यहाँ सभी को अपनी एज के हिसाब से आशीर्वाद देने आती हूँ और आपको भी आशीर्वाद आज देती हूँ और यही कहूंगी चेयरमैन साहब अपना आशीर्वाद आपको देते हुए मेरी उम्र के हिसाब से जो भी आशीर्वाद देती हूँ आप सुन लीजिए आज भी कहूंगी मेरे बाद यानी मेरे मरने के बाद भी जब जब एच की मीटिंग आएगी चेयरमैन साहब आप आसमां पर देखिए आपको आशीर्वाद देते हुए मेरे एस एम एस लिखे नजर आएंगे और आपको आज भी आशीर्वाद देते हुए मैं धन्यवाद देती हूँ थैंक यू आशा लता जी थैंक यू Our next question is from shareholder number two, Santosh Kumar Saraf. Please go ahead with your question, sir. Namaskar. माने मेरे सबसे प्यारे अध्यक्ष जी और मेरे डायरेक्टर मैं संतोष कुमार सराब कलेक्टर से बोल रहा हूँ सर. आप सभी को मेरा नमस्कार. दिलीप दीपक सर ये आपसे लास्ट मीटिंग हो रही है मैं लगता है क्योंकि वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस मीटिंग अगर अगले साल होगी तो दोबारा आपसे मुलाकात होगी तो अभी कोई पता नहीं कि कितने दिसंबर में दोबारा मीटिंग होगी नहीं इसलिए मैं आपकी लंबी उम्र की कामना करता हूं और भगवान से प्रार्थना करता हूं आपको भगवान लंबी उम्र दे और इसी तरह हमारी चारों कंपनियाँ जिनमें जो लिस्टेड हम हैं उस, उसका ग्रोथ होता रहे सर और मैंने अपने एक लेटर लिख के मैंने चेयरमैन सेक्रेटरी को भेज दिया था सर मिल गया होगा है मैं अजय अग्रवाल जी और लक्ष्मी सेठी की भी करता हूं तो उन्होंने बहुत अच्छा इमानिटी सेलर सर्विस दिया इसके लिए मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूं सर एक सर मैं आप लोग को धन्यवाद देता हूं कि आपने तीन बहुत बड़े अवार्ड और रिकॉग्नाइजेशन मिले बेस्ट कंपनी ऑफ द ईयर गोल्डन पिकॉक एक्सलेंस इन द गवर्नेंस बेस्ट ऑडिट कमिटी दो अलग अलग जगह से मिले इसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर 
एक साथ मैं आपको धन्यवाद देता हूँ कि जो इतनी न्यू डिपोजिट है इसको मोर एट्रेक्टिव बनाया जाए सर जिसमें क्या है कुछ फिक्स और स्पेशलिटी ऐसे इस तरह के लगाया जाए कि आजकल के जो उम्र वाले और नया यंग पीपुल एट्रेक्टिव हो सके सर एक सर मैं चाहूंगा कि और टाइप की स्कीम निकाली जाए जो 81, 91, 101 मंथ की टेनियर की हो क्योंकि अभी जो अब है 36 और 36 मंथ 33 और 36 मंथ की है इसको मैं चाहूंगा ये बताइए सर एक सर न्यू एम्प्लॉय अपने कितने साल ऐड किए उसके बारे में बताने कष्ट करिएगा सर और एक सर वर्क फ्रॉम होम जो है उनको क्या पोजिशन है क्योंकि अपने मार्केटिंग वाले वर्क फ्रॉम होम कर सकते हैं तो उनके लिए क्या टेक्निकल सपोर्ट आपने प्रोवाइड किया है जिससे वह कॉर्पोरेशन हो गए वाइल्ड अपने एक साथ में काम कर सकते सर जोनल वाइज अपना फिगर क्या है ये बताइएगा सर जनरेटर और एज वाइज सर और सर इसके अलावा मैं चाहूँगा कि आपने कितने परसेंटेज अपने एम्प्लॉय का वैक्सीनेट वैक्सीन हो गया है और उनके जो खर्चे लगे हैं उसको प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल जो करवाएं उनके पैसे आपने बेकअप किए हैं क्या सर और लास्ट में मैं सर भगवान से प्रार्थना करूँगा कि जी भगवान आपको बहुत लंबी उम्र दे सर और एक रिक्वेस्ट है कि सर ये वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस मीटिंग तो इकतीस दिसंबर तक अलाउ की सर मैं तो कलता में रहता हूँ रेज भी हो गई है तो मैं चाहूंगा हमारी हम चार कंपनी के शेयर होल्डर आपके चारों लिस्टेड कंपनी में शेयर होल्डर इतना अपना अच्छा रिटर्न दिया हमें कि उसकी मैं कोई कल्पना नहीं कर सकता तो चाहूंगा एक पंद्रह मिनट के लिए वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस मीटिंग एच डी सी की तरफ की जाए जिसमें हम अपने बात कर रख सके अपने दिन वालगे कर सकते और ज्यादा समय नहीं लूंगा सर हमारे कंपनी सेक्रेटरी लक्ष्मी सेट्टी काफी अच्छी है और काफी मतलब उन्होंने काम किया उनके लिए मैं लंबी उम्र की कामना करता हूँ और सर एक लास्ट में हम आपको मैं सबसे प्रिय चेयरमैन आपको इंडिया में समझता हूं सर आप इतना अच्छे प्रिय चेयरमैन हम लोग शेयर होल्डर के हैं क्या बताऊं सर इतना अच्छा ग्रोथ इतना अच्छा रिजल्ट दिया है कि सब शेयर होल्डर सेटिस्फाई हैं तो मैं आपकी लंबी उम्र की कामना करते हुए अपना पक्ष समाप्त हूं जय हिंद जय भारत नमस्कार सर एक बार फिर से आप ही को थैंक यू संतोष जी थैंक यू Our next speaker shareholder is Ms. Lekha Shah. Please go ahead with your question. Hello, can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, Hello? Ms. Shah. Please go ahead. We can hear you, ma'am. Please Thank go you, ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Respected Chairman Sir, Board of Directors, and my fellow members. Good morning to all of you. Myself, Lekha Shah from Mumbai. First of all, I'm very much thankful to our company secretary team. especially mrs shetty madam for sending very good investment services and also sending me the agm notice by email well in time in such a difficult situation so i am very thankful to our uh, mrs uh, lashmi shetty ji ma'am thank you chairman sir for explaining us well about the company sir i am happy to see all the good deeds that you have done during this tough time sir i pray to god he always shower his blessing upon you sir i would like to ask few questions my first question is what are the benefit achieved after merging its subsidiaries in hdfc my second question is what are the amount and name of the psu for which npa provisions has been made my third question is whether there is decrease in loan disbursement during pandemic and what are the top in this industries for which bank has finished during pandemic my fourth question is our bank employees brother and sister in which way we are supporting our bank employees as they to our our covid varies so i strongly propose all the resolutions for today's meeting and my wish wishes always our company and its prosperity thank you sir thank you thank you our next question is from speaker shareholder number 4 kaushik sahukar please go ahead with your question uh good morning sir at the outset let me introduce myself as kaushik shankar from mumbai professionally i am a chartered accountant medically i suffer from dystonia uh, in simple terms 55% of my body is paralyzed 
and this I'm putting my right hand, right leg, and feet. So I might the work done by HFC in the area of CS activity. You have brought smile in uh, millions of faces by your CS activities. People connect with you for your kind support. Sir, if you can shower your blessings on me, it can change my life uh, in a better way. Before I end my speech, I would like to present a quote. I am sure Mr. Deepak Parekh will relate it. Give man a fish and you can feed him per day. But teach man a technique to fish. He can be prepared for life. I believe in second part of the quote. I would like to thank board of directors for giving me opportunity to speak and also patiently hearing me. Special thanks to Mr. Ajay Agarwal and entire sector department for making this event possible. Uh, thanks to all. I am also hopeful that company will empathize with me and will religiously consider me. Can I expect a positive response from the company? Thank you. Thank you all, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Our next speaker. We'll take our next question from speaker shareholder number five, Ms. H.S. Patel. Please go ahead with your question. Ms. Patel, could you please unmute your microphone and go ahead with your question? Hello. You may Hello? proceed, Ms. Patel. We can hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, respected Chairman, our Mr. Deepak Parekh. Uh, respected Mr. Keke Mistri, the Vice Chairman and the CEO of the company, uh, Madam Renu Kanad, the Managing Director, the eminent directors on the board, uh, my dear shareholders and friends. Um, first, I would like to thank uh, our Mr. Narsi Munji and Dr. J.K. Irani for contributing the most uh, towards the HDFC. Uh, I wish them a very happy uh, uh, life. Uh, thank you very much, and please keep on giving your services and your advice to our company. Uh, I appreciate Mr. Ajay Agarwal. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Agarwal. I think you have done a great job, very good in your report. Which is very good. Uh, I'm sorry uh, to interrupt, Mr. Patel. We're not able to hear you that clearly, ma'am. If you can hold the microphone a little closer to you and speak. Certainly. Speak a little louder, please. Ms. Patel, speak a little louder, please. Yeah, sure. Am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Am I audible now? Better, better, better. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, I'll start. Okay. Um, I would like to congratulate uh, Mr. Ajay Agarwal, the company secretary, for giving a very good, exhaustive, and explicit annual report. I thank this um, I'm sorry, Ms. Patel. Uh, I'm sorry, we are unable to hear you clearly. Uh, maybe uh, our technical team will check I'm... your connection and help you to return to the queue, if that's okay, fine. Okay, Please okay. Now I'm, I'm, I'm coming at the window. Now we are able to hear me? Um, now you are able better. to hear me? Yeah. Yes, better, yes. Much sir. better. Don't cut my time huh, in this. <laughs> Achha, uh, I thank Mr. Ajay Agarwal, as I said before, and his whole team. He has done a very good job, a uh, very good, exhaustive annual report that we have received. I also thank Mr. Rangan for giving very minute financial details about the company. Uh, I, I thank Aman also. Even at night, till uh, late, uh, 10 o'clock also, they were very helpful, Lakshmi and Aman. Thank you very much. Uh, I congratulate the company, all the employees, uh, even in this crucial COVID time, uh, they have worked hard and given us a very good result. I, now, now congrat I co congratulate the company for the biggest awards and applause. But the best company of the year, the Golden Peacock Award, definitely under Mr. Dibak uh, Parekh, sir, and the eminent directors on the board. The company is reaching at its good heights. Wish you all the best. Uh, now we come up to the quest uh, yeah, questions. So your CSR activities has been very good. 
company's CSR activities. The company has spent almost 189.82 crores, um, uh, more than the stipulated amount. So, however, there is 251 crores of 2015-16. Uh, if you can explain a little of this, uh, it is, is it pending or what it is about? So, in your notice in the resolution number eight, you mention a six lakh crores to be borrowed from institutional um, financial institutions, India as well as abroad. So, what is our total debt? Full total debt, and um, today our lo loan book is almost eleven point. Five lakh crores. Uh, so, what uh, what will be its impact in our national economy? Also, uh, then I would like to um, uh, uh, ask. Uh, so, our foreign earnings it is two crores earnings, and expenditure is seven eighty two crores. What is the justification for uh, having uh, more of our expenditure and less of the foreign earnings? Uh, uh, so, can we uh, increase our holdings in HDFC Bank up to 30%? Please do not reduce the stake of our company uh, below the statutory limits in your domestic subsidiaries. Uh, but the demand for hybrid office spaces increasing and growth from the How will it impact our company directly or indirectly? So with the second wave going on and the third wave expected of COVID uh, on the way, uh, will there be an additional increase in the NPS of our company? What is the total debt, as I mentioned before, in the accounts of our company? Here I would also like to mention once again that our Mr. Ajay Agarwal has been our company secretary for quite a long time. Uh, I think he should. Uh, it, it would be uh, much befitted if his uh, uh, his services are valued, and uh, uh, we consider him for further promotion, change in designation. Also, it would uh, be much better. Sorry, so on the um, one minute, please hold on. Uh, so on the board, we request you uh, uh, that as Mr. Hirani and Nasir Monchi vacancies are, will be created, why not we have our Noel Tata on the board or Mr. Subedar of Tata Sons on the board? It is very essential. I would like to know why Kaki Mystery is given second term only for three months instead of five or six months. It is very surprising when our Ren Madam Renu Kadlan, who is a very competent lady, when she can continue, I think Kekimistri should also continue, a very capable man. And we should consider Mr. Noel Tata and Subedar for the vacancies, vacant posts of Mr. Nasarbanchi and Dr. Hirani. Um, under your able guidance, under uh, 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 captaincy, uh, Mr. Deepak Parikh, certainly HDFC is progressing. Um, uh, today, the share price stands at uh, 2467.60, and you are giving us a dividend of 23. Uh, I wish you all the very best to you and uh, good health and good happy life. And please, uh, uh, the progress of the company and I wish all the best to all the employees and management team of our company. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. All the best. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank we you. would uh, like to remind you to please restrict your questions to three minutes per participant in the interest of time. We'll take our next question from speaker shareholder number six, Manoj Kumar Gupta. Please go ahead with your question. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Mr. Gupta, we can hear you. Please proceed with your yeah. question. Yeah. Good morning, respected chairman, board of directors, fellow shareholders. My name is Manoj Gupta. I am from Calcutta. Sir, first of all, I thanks to I, I thanks to our chairman and his team for excellent result during this epidemic COVID time. And we have a, like previous speakers, he is our best chairman in the country. We have a great respect for him and we honor him and we respect him. And I'm very thankful to our MD, Mrs. Renu Sud Kannad, that she also worked hard to show this result to employees and investors. I thanks to all, to her and his team to give a nice result during this epidemic time. And I uh, thanks to all our pupils, those have worked hard during this time 
to return to the shareholders employees and i thanks to our company secretary mr agarwal and his team to help us to join this meeting through vc and sir thanks for your dividend during during this epidemic covid time you are paying a good dividend 1150% dividend sir what, what, what's the impact of covid on our company and sir i will not say single word on csr you are doing a lot of work for the society and community without caste creed color to help the pupils in every aspect health education and every aspect so i will not say single word on that and return to investor every investor has got return on their investment under your leadership under your umbrella sir have you any plan for split the share from rupees 2 to 1 if you will split then you will show the see with the result of like as like hdfc bank so the liquidity will increase number of shareholders will increase and share market price will increase and the market cap will increase three things will be increased so in the next board meeting in the first quarter board meeting or second quarter board meeting can you consider to split the shares and I will not say that you consider the bonus share. You can issue the bonus debenture. If you will issue the bonus debenture, the equity burden will not increase on the company. You can issue the bonus debenture. Now that a new trend has started in the country, that bonus debenture, you can issue the bonus debenture in the ratio of 1 is to 1 of rupees, 15 rupees per debenture or uh, a coupon rate and after reading 3 years, 4 years, that you can consider. And sir, I will suggest one thing. Don't take any hard step against the small defaulters in this COVID period. Don't take because Supreme and our government has given the monetarium and Supreme Court has already accepted the monetarium to the borrowers. So I request you and our MP that don't take any hard action against the defaulters of which those have purchased small houses for their, their shelter. जिनको सर पे छत के लिए घर खरीदे आपसे पैसा लेके उनके खिलाफ आप कोई सख्त कार्रवाई मत कीजिए अगर वो कोई डिफॉल्टर है तीन चार किस्तों के ड्यूरिंग दिस एपिडेमिक कोविड एंड आई थैंक्स टू यू योर टीम आवर एमडी एंड ऑल एम्प्लॉइज टू गेट द अवार्ड्स ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड ए थ्री अवार्ड्स एंड सर डिपॉजिट शुड बी अट्रैक्टिव एंड इंक्रीज सम रेट फॉर एज वाइज like as PSU banks has increased and private banks has increased. So you should also think about and any plan to list another subsidiary in the stock market because your every subsidiary has given a good return. Just a minute, Sorry. I will take one minute. Uh, so any plan to uh, list any, any another subsidiary in the stock market to return the investors. The last but least, I pray almighty for your healthy and prosperous, safe, long life. And I invite you to come to Calcutta, you and our MD, because both have stopped to come to Calcutta. So we are waiting for you to in Calcutta, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will take our next uh, question from speaker shareholder number seven, Mrs. Celestine Elizabeth Mascarenas. And Mr. Aloysius Peter Mascarenas, Speaker Shareholder Number Eight, they both are joining together. Please go ahead. Can you? Hello. Hello. Yes, Mrs. Mascarenas, Hello? we can hear you. Please go ahead. Yes, I just one big line: finding calm in the chaos. Respected Honorable Shri Deepak. Sir, Mr. KK Mystery, Madam Renu Karnad, other very, very honorable directors attending this meeting, fellow shareholders. Uh, I am Mrs. C. A. Mascarenas. I am from my home in Mumbai. Sir, I am the company secretary, Mr. Ajay Karwal, uh, uh, and his team, especially Lakshmi E. and uh, sending me an E. A. G. M. report allowing me to speak and also I have to thank the team also uh, checking and all because we are still not, not very grounded of uh, all those uh, online thing. The annual report is very informative, explanatory, adhering to all the norms of corporate governance, good, PBT, Pat, uh, little down, 
but the dividend is good of 2 23 uh, as against last year's 21 per value share uh, per par value is of now our company has a good rating for deposits our company has emerged as the leading financial conglomerate in with a strong presence in housing, banking, life and general insurance, asset management, venture capital and education finance sector. Parekh, you have created a great amount of wealth to all the stakeholders and the shareholders, especially the small shareholders. Now I congratulate for all the awards received during this pandemic period. Also, I appreciate you and your team for all the work done, especially in the days of pandemic. I don't want to elaborate because the time is short. Now my queries and suggestions, uh, uh, the housing loan interest rate down and reduction of the stamp duty, how housing loans increase. I want any percentage to uh, for further inorganic of our uh, HDFC limited conglomerate, any further acquisitions or any mergers? Have we any land pockets? How much of loan is booked is under the CLSS? Number five, I have a good amount. I and my family have a good amount of deposits with the HDFC Limited and also our relatives too. So what about having some DICGC cover in what is in the banks on the of all these small depositors? So what happened is DHFL, which was another housing company, uh, the second number one thing at the time, but with frauds, the small West, no fault of theirs, they have lost their deposits and equity holder, equity shareholder there. I have lost my money completely with no fault of hers, even to look at the balance sheet. Um, um, so, uh, though it went to IBC, IBC only took care of the uh, banks, though the banks were supposed to be taking care when they take the loans and it is for shareholders very difficult you know uh, because they are all small shareholders uh, even like me like knowing so much I also became a bait in it so I really feel sir like visionary like you must do some steps to solve this problem uh, because uh, I, this is becoming the IBC act has come we don't know what will happen to the small um, uh, uh, this, uh, um, uh, sir, you are a visionary and protector of the small investors. These, uh, there should be something like insurance cover for uh, these deposits, small uh, equities holders, where the company on stock exchanges, the insurance could be, the premium could be paid uh, with, uh, with uh, SEBI or something like that can be worked out, sir. I have got great faith in you try to do something about it because we don't want more and more ashes become limbos even the Lakshmi Vilas bank just no valuation there are so many like that so please sir I, I wish that you it and along with like-minded people could see how the equity cult remains and the deposit cult also remains you know? lastly but not the least we have a ergo it, uh, when will it uh, to unlock the shareholder value? When will it get uh, listed? Because our market is very much uh, heated. And even RBI has asked our uh, company in uh, our share, our holding in Ergo should be brought down to 50 by May 21. Could you throw some Mr. light on it? Mrs. Whether it's brought down? Mrs. Mascarena, yeah. sorry to interrupt. I, uh, I support all the resolution. Thank you for giving me this patient hearing. Now, my Mascarenas, he will share some questions, which will be much Thank you, Mrs. Mascarenas. Respected. Yeah, yeah. Respected mm -hmm. Chairman, sir. Very distinguished members and my fellow shareholders. My name is Aloysius. I will be very brief. At the outset, I thank the management of our company secretary and his team, the in-house registrars for which I received on time. 
it is exotic informative transparent and above all adhering to all the parameters required for a good corporate our results are very good considering the pandemic which we are facing which has destroyed our economy and the world economy in spite of that you have declared a handsome dividend of rupees 23 versus 21 of last year a financial 10 year highlight speaks for itself on year to year basis you have our pbtt dividend payout ts book value all the financial parameters have gone up our dividend payout also 1100 Fifty percent record breaking. I have very little to say. We are doing very well under the leadership of Deepak Parekh. He has got a midas touch. Whatever it touch, wherever turns into gold. This is in short the caliber of our chairman. So I thank him and I wish him good health and life. So also his team, uh, Mr. Agarwal and his team. And now, sir, now I have very few questions. We are doing very well in in uh, ECG initiatives, electrical panels, electronic waste, recycling, paper waste, clean sanitation, green housing, and all that. And we have got very good uh, support from government. Uh, demand for warehousing is also increased. So also our real estate. So, sir, keep it up. Now, uh, one question which uh, hurts me is that we have unclaimed dividend and now unclaimed shares. Do not take the dividend within seven years or the shares it goes to the investor protection fund. See that this doesn't go to the government because because if it goes to the government treasury, it is very very difficult to get it back. So. See the money goes to the shareholders uh, in in a proper form. So first, uh, and especially now, my question about Diwan Housing, we we have suffered a lot. You could have taken over Diwan Housing and uh, Villa uh, Lakshmi Villas. Uh, we have uh, small. Uh, like we have uh, we have lost. Sir, so, uh, since many questions have been asked by my wife. Shareholders, and there will be many more questions which will be in uh, by the. I would like to uh, cut my speech short, wishing you personally, Mr. Uh, Deepak Parekh, and all the board members, and more importantly, all the employees, all the very best in the days and years to come. With this, sir, thank you very much for patient hearings. Good luck, safe uh, stay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. Maskelyan. Our next question is from Speaker Shareholder Number Nine, Yusuf Yunus Rangwala. Please go ahead. Yeah, with your good question, morning, sir. sir. Good morning, sir. Can you hear my voice? Good morning, sir. Can I start my sir? Hello. Hello. We can hear you, sir. You may proceed. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Deepak, sir. I am very happy to see you, sir. Personally, sir. Sir, I am very happy to see you personally, sir. आप आपका तो सर ऐसा चेहरा है जो कंपनी में आप सर सर रहते हैं वो कंपनी का भाव कहा से कहा पहुंच जाएगा आज अपना भाव आ रहा है अराउंड बोर्ड मार्केट में अपना थम्सअप है सर दिस इज फोर्टी फोर ईयर एंड वी आर फाइनेंस बिजनेस सर वी आर लीडर इन दिस बिजनेस सर नो बडी कैन बीट अस आप हो तो सर कुछ बोलने की जरूरत नहीं है सर आपका आप और अपने अजय सर जो अपने कंपनी के सेक्रेटरी जो उनकी अच्छी गाइडेंस है और अच्छी उनकी सर्विस उससे सर मैं बहुत खुश हूँ और सर मैं और एक सर थैंक यू कहना चाहता हूँ अपना कोरस पीपल जो अपने एजेंट है उनकी सर्विस तो सर ला जवाब है सर उनकी सर्विस जहाँ पे कोरस होती है सर हमको कोई दिक्कत नहीं आती बस हमारा नंबर आता है हमको ज्वाइन करना पड़ता है और सर मैं आपको सर आप मेरा वीडियो भी देख सकते सकते हैं और सर मैं पूरा बोर्ड को देखता हूँ सर मैं बहुत खुश होता हूँ मेरा डील सर भगवान हो गया आप लोग को देख के सर इतनी बड़ी बड़ी कंपनी को इतने बड़े बड़े डायरेक्टर लोग को देख के सर और सर मुझे जानना चाहती में अपने सब पीपल लोग सब स्टाफ ने एक वैक्सीन ले लिया है और सर अपने और अब वी आर सी एक्टिविटीज अपन हेल्प कर रहे हैं पोअर को सर अपन बोर्ड अपनी तरफ से अच्छी एक्टिविटीज है एंड वी आर लीडर इन दिस सी आर एक्टिविटीज सर एंड फ्रॉम दिस सी डी एक्टिविटीज और उन ब्लेसिंग सर अवर कंपनी ग्रोइंग अप एंड द टाइम विल कम नेक्स्ट ईयर नेक्स्ट ईयर इज फोर्टी फिफ्थ ईयर सो कैन बी एक्सेप्ट बोनस सर फ्रॉम यू वन इज टू वन सर द टाइम इज कम 
many years have passed, sir, from Deepak, sir. You have given the dividend 50 rupees. That is a very excellent. And I am very happy with it, this excellent dividend, sir. Or aapka performance, sir, uske baare mein kuch mujhe nahi touch karna, sir. Aapka performance itna achcha hai, sir. Kya bolna, sir. Aapne chairman speech bhi itna achcha hai, bata hai. Aam bort khush hua, sir. I am very happy with our chairman speech. And nothing more to it. My good wishes, sir. Mujhe ek put, sir, last year, apun do saal pehle, apun get together mile te. Abhi, sir, next year aay. आप ऐसा हो सकता हो आप गेट टूगेदर रखिए सर हमें बुलाइए सर आपसे हम मिलना चाहता सर दीपक सर आज तक सर आपसे मेरी मुलाकात हुई सर बहुत साल पहले मैं आपसे मिला था आप सर अपनी तबियत संभालिए दीपक सर प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड ऑल द स्टाफ माय हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट एंड माय हम्बल माय माय गुड विशेष फॉर ऑल द स्टाफ प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ यू आर वेरी सर लाइफ इंश्योरेंस एल हाउसिंग उनके उनका सर और अपना क्या कॉम्पिटिशन है सर एल हाउसिंग को जानना चाह रहा हूँ और सर अपने मेन सर मैडम मस्कर मस्कर में ज्वाइन करता हूँ कि दीवान हाउसिंग सर आप ले ले दे आर दीवान हाउसिंग भी अच्छी कंपनी सर लेकिन एट प्रेजेंट दे आर डाउन अगर आप ले लोगे तो दीवान हाउसिंग यू कैन थिंक टू परचेस सर एंड नथिंग मोर टू एट सर आने वाले गणेश चतुर्जी जो अभी सेप्टेम्बर में और उसके बाद दशहरा उसके बाद दिवाली और सब त्योहारों का सर मैं आपको शुभकामनाएं देना चाहता हूँ और बस मैं एक छोटा सा शायरी पेश करना चाहता हूँ आपको दीपक सर देख के मेरे दिल में बहुत खुशी हुई इतनी खुशी हुई सर जो मैं व्यक्त नहीं कर सकता मेरे पास सर शब्द नहीं है सर बस आपसे सर मैं इतना खुश हो गया सर इतना दिन है और आपसे आप ये मुझे मुझे सर आप मिलना चाहता हूँ आपसे सर थैंक यू गॉड ब्लेस फ्लावर्स खुदा हाफिज सर थैंक यू यू सुपाई थैंक यू Our next speaker, shareholder, is shareholder number ten, Mr. Gautam Tiwari. Please go ahead with your question. Uh, can you listen me and can you see me, sir? We can hear you and see you. Yes, sir. Please see you. Hear you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, sir, very, very uh, special good morning uh, to our Deepak sir and of course uh, to all my uh, directors also. A uh, very lovely directors, K K Mistri, Renu Karnad. Uh, and all other team of directors, uh, HDFC team, and my fellow shareholders. So my name is Gautam Chivari, and I am participating at this meeting from Mumbai. Sir, in fact, ये वास्तव में काफी निराशा जनक रहा कि हम इस वर्ष COVID-19 की महामारी के कारण लगातार दो वर्षों तक व्यक्तिगत रूप से आपसे नहीं मिल पा रहे हैं। मुझे इस AGM में बोलने के बोलने का अवसर प्रदान करने के लिए टीम एच डी का मैं बहुत बहुत आभारी हूँ टीम एफ बहुत ही मददगार रही और बहुत ही हमें उनसे सहयोग मिला डियर चेयरमैन सर सफलता के एक और शानदार वर्ष के लिए आपको और टीम एच को बहुत बहुत बधाइया सर मैं आपसे मिलना चाहता था पर कोविड के चलते ही सब कुछ बहुत कुछ बदल गया है सर कंपनी ऑफ द ईयर अवार्ड और कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस की उत्कृष्टता के लिए मिल, मिलने वाला गोल्डन पिकॉक अवार्ड और अन्य सभी सारे अवार्ड्स के लिए चेयरमैन सर आपको टीम एच को और अजय अग्रवाल जी को बहुत बहुत बधाइयां और धन्यवाद सर अजय जी के बारे में एक खास कहना है लक्ष्मी शेट्टी जी भी बहुत बहुत ही मेहनत कश हैं और अजय जी तो इतने होनहार मेहनत कश और सिंसियर और लगन से काम करने वाले हैं सर तो इनके लिए एक अच्छा सा सजेशन था बहुत कि आजकल सारी ग्रुप कंपनी में ग्रुप सेक्रेटरी के जो जिनके पास में बहुत सारे कंपनीज होती हैं तो ये ये ग्रुप कंपनी सेक्रेटरी के पोजीशन तक उनकी उनका प्रमोशन करें क्योंकि कंपनी को बहुत बहुत फायदे में रहेंगे हम उनका लियासन भी बहुत अच्छा है एक्सपर्टाइज भी बहुत अच्छा है सो वील बी वेरी हैप्पी ऑल ऑफ अस सर एनुअल रिपोर्ट समय पर मिला और आपका एनुअल रिपोर्ट से सबसे सुसंगत है सूचनात्मक स्पष्ट और स्वच्छ रिपोर्ट में से एक है इसके लिए सेक्रेटरियल टीम फाइनेंस टीम और लक्ष्मी शेट्टी जी को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर आपने बिल्कुल डायमंड चुने हुए हैं सेक्रेटरियल टीम में और फाइनेंस टीम में अजय जी लक्ष्मी जी और सारे के सारे जितने हैं तो एक से एक बढ़कर इतनी हेल्पफुल है कि सारी कंपनियों को हम भूल जाते हैं और एच डी को हमेशा they they are are very very keen that that all those who are connected really come join and speak with us. Sir, bonus 
बोनस नहीं तो कम से कम शेयर स्प्लिट तो कर ही दीजिए तो कम से कम शेयर होल्डर बहुत होंगे और हमारा मार्केट शेयर भी बढ़ेगा सर चेयरमैन सर दीपक जी तेईस डिविडेंड आपने दिया है जो बोर्ड की सिफारिश के लिए आपने दिया हुआ है उसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद पिछले साल से दो रुपए दो रुपए अधिक दिया है इस ये तो बहुत ही अच्छी बात है सर आपसे एक एक बहुत ही अच्छा अनुरोध है सबके हित में कि ये एच डी अर्गो और एच डी क्रेडिला जो है उसको भी आप जल्दी से लिस्ट कर दीजिए और हम लोगों को भी उसकी प्रेफरेंशियल अलॉटमेंट दीजिए सर सर एच डी एफ सी का प्रॉफिट बहुत प्रॉफिट बहुत अच्छा है डिस्पर्समेंट और सेक्शन भी बहुत अच्छा है इसके लिए ग्रोथ भी बहुत अच्छी है इसके लिए हम आपके बहुत बहुत आभारी है ना सर कमिंग टू द बिजनेस क्वेश्चन सर वी वुड लाइक टू नो सर हाउ इज द रियल इस्टेट मार्केट इन इंडिया आपको लगता है कि पोस्ट कोविड क्या अपने प्रॉपर्टी की कीमतें बढ़ेंगी सर कई बड़े कंपनी के पास जैसा कि हमने कहा ग्रुप कंपनी सेक्रेटरी की अवधारणा है तो ऐसी कोई योजना हमारे एच डी एफ सी में है, है क्या सर सर वे हमारा लास्ट बोनस कब था और शेयर फ्लिट हुआ था कॉर्पोरेशन के लिए सर What are the measures the is taking for the safety of employees who are working from office now? और कितने एम्प्लॉज वैक्सीनेटेड हुए हैं तो ये हमने सुसंगति के लिए निश्चित करने के लिए कौन सी योजना बनाई है सर और सर कॉस्ट कटिंग मेजर्स हम लोगों ने कोई लिया था क्या इसके बाद में भी कोई भविष्य में हम कॉस्ट कटिंग मेजर्स लेने वाले हैं क्या सर एक बहुत अच्छी सी बात है कि ये आरबीआई Being the new regulator of the corporation, does the corporation now reports everything to NHB and RBI now, sir? In view of the retirement of Dr. Jamshed Irani or Mr. Nasir Munji, jinki seva hai bahot lajwaab rahi itne saal tak, to unko sir reappointment ke liye kyun consider kiya gaya? Ye ye jara sa concern lagta hai aur sir, baaki to sab itna acha hai ki sir Deepak sir, aap bilkul magnet hai, aapka naam bhi सब कुछ बता देता है यू आर एन इंस्टीट्यूशन इन यूएसए आप जैसे हमने बताया आप ध्रुव का तारा हैं और हमेशा चमकते रहेंगे और सबको प्रणालित कर देंगे वी विश यू वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग हैप्पी प्रॉस्पर सेल्डी विल दी सेफ लाइफ टू यू ऑल बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स ऑल दोज हु आर कनेक्टेड विथ एच डी एफ सी एंड विश यू वेरी ब्राइट एंड शाइनिंग फ्यूचर ऑन इंडिविजुअल एंड ऑन कलेक्टिव बेसिस टू द कंपनी ऑल्सो थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर पेशेंट लिखनी पेशेंट लिस्निंग जय हिंद जय भारत जय महाराष्ट्र Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Tiwari. Thank you. Our next speaker, shareholder number eleven, Mr. Ronald Fernandez, has connected via an audio call. Please proceed with your question, sir. Yeah. Very uh, good morning. Good afternoon, sir. This is. Hello. You can hear me. Hello. We can hear you, sir. Please go ahead. We can hear you. Yeah. Uh, very good afternoon, sir. This is Ronald Fernandez over here. And first and foremost, I wish to thank the company secretary, the secretary of state, the share transfer agent, and the uh, management staff of AGFC for sending the AGM notice on time. Of course, no doubt it is very much audible and very lengthy and all that, and comprising of 380 one minute, 388 pages and 60 pages of the annual report, sir. Uh, uh, the AGM notice, sorry, and for total coming to 404. Out of which 404 is nothing, sir. My take out is zero and add 44. This is a 44 AGM looking at it, sir. And also this of AGFC is 44. And you have to split the shares of 10 rupees into two items. Because if you look at it, there is some divided into one share, one rupees, two rupees, and five rupees, sir. There is no three, and there is no four in it. So automatically it will come to one, two, and five. So at least you have a much more number of shares, and then your share price also will increase if you split it up. But if you keep it on the same aspect, but before that you declare a bonus, then you give this, uh, this thing. So that will increase our value as well, the shareholder. Because we're looking at it so long over the slow long time, we have not have any of the meetings and all that. So we're looking forward for it that you have in the near future when you have. Please don't have it. I have done BCM only. 
because when we see individual we keep on speaking and all that and all everything so the problem is now we have to just control on that limit that is very important and if any if i am going too long on it so i just make the mute and we disconnect the line that would be better then because people don't listen sometimes that is the thing the attitude is not good it is the latitude of sun and the longitude of the way that makes the hemoglobin go round up that is what the time is specified here and uh, of course no doubt sir last and foremost i would like to also i like to you uh, when are you coming out with a bonus share because the size that you declare a bonus share nothing for you sir it is 45th year so you can give either every one share held four four times of it and or every one share held five I remember a little bit up to you because very soon we'll be completing it in five years' time. Fiftieth Golden Jubilee, the Golden Jubilee is a big achievement. So that time, I think we should meet all together. There, other than having also long, we can hold a meeting of these things. That is very much more applicable because there are people abroad also who are listening and they want to uh, participate in the meeting. With this, I support all the resolution and thank the management for patient listening and sorry for the trouble for taking a longer time to speak. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. Fernandez. Our next question is from Speaker Shareholder Number Twelve, Dipankar Purkayasta. Please go ahead with your question. Okay. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hello. Okay. So let me start. So, firstly, since your IPO, you have diluted equity, I think, around 18 times, if I include convertibles, private placements, QIPs. So, this has been partly to fund the growth of loan assets on the balance sheet and partly to fund investments in your associates and subsidiary companies. HDFC has become a financial conglomerate with investments in diverse entities in the financial services space. And you will be going on making more and more investments in new entities. It becomes difficult for shareholders to understand the consolidated financial statements. In this year's annual report on page 76, a long reconciliation has been given between the profit figures of FY21 and 20 because of all these investments. Market also does not like complex structures and a holding company discount will start becoming applicable. So my request is, will the company consider simplifying the structure, spinning the housing loan business into a standalone operating company and moving all your present and future ownership of the investee companies to a holding company, a structure similar to what the Bajaj group has with Bajaj FinServe. So that is my first question. Secondly, is that you are currently, you are, uh, your loan sales are exclusively to HDFC Bank with a cap of 70%. So is that cap of 70% a regulatory requirement or is that a bilateral contract between you and HDFC Bank? So would you consider widening the scope of these sales to other entities? Because during the last 10 years, your equity capital has expanded by 26% and there has been a dilution of equity every year. So can we think of pursuing a more asset-like strategy where we concentrate on loan origination rather than loan maintenance? My third question is that a uh, two years back, I think you divested your stake in GRUH or GRU. Now, GRU had developed expertise in financing people who belong to the unorganized sector and were economically weaker sections. Now, after this divestment of GRU, the skill sets which were available with GRU have also gone. So my question is, have you been able to develop these skills in-house and do you continue to get the same levels of business from these segments? And secondly, GRU had very high interest spreads because which they also had the highest return on equity in the uh, non-banking finance company space. So are you also able to have the same pricing power on these loans which GRU had? My next question is, for the last two years, your gross NPLs have been hovering around 2%, whereas earlier it used to be around 1%. So do you foresee any possibility of returning to 1% or is 2% going to be the new normal? Next question is, you do not appear to have used mortgage guarantees which are available in India to mitigate credit risk. Many of your competitors have done so. So are there any reasons for this reluctance on the part of HDFC to avail of this form of credit enhancement? And my final question is that Eastern India accounts for only 4% of your individual loan portfolio. Uh, any reasons or what are the specific reasons why you have such a poor share of Eastern India in your portfolio and any thoughts on increasing the share of this area? That's all. Thank you for the time and good day. 
Thank you. Our next question is from speaker shareholder number 13, Shobhna Mehta. Please go ahead with your question. Ms. Mehta, could you please unmute your microphone and your webcam and go ahead with your question? I'm sorry, Ms. Mehta, we are unable to hear you. Could you please unmute your microphone? Uh, Ms. Shobna Mehta, since we are unable to hear you, uh, our technical team will connect with you separately and check your connection. In the meanwhile, we will proceed with our next question. That's from uh, speaker shareholder number 14, Adil Pollard Irani. Please go ahead with your question, sir. Have you unmuted me? Yes, sir. Yes, we can hear you. Until... Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's a video conference, at least somebody should move the head, or I mean, the moderator should say. Anyway, she has been very nice in uh, mentioning a speaker number one, speaker number two. So I know I was speaker number 14, so I was ready when speaker number 10 was announced. Anyway, I, I, I don't question what takes place before 34 March, that is history. I say thank you, thank you, thank you to the company. This is one of the one of greatest companies you have created, shareholder wealth, the maximum shareholder wealth, one of the 10 companies in the past 25 years. That is what is mentioned in your annual report. And uh, thank you. And other thing, Mr. JJ Irani and Mr. Uh, Narsi Munji. Pardon? Hello? Yeah, J JJ Irani and Narsi Munji. Uh, Sort of, I'm sad that they are leaving. Anyway, Mr. Narsi Munji, the handsome young man. Basically, sir, you can. Is it possible for you to add him again after six months after his term gets over? Because he's 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 very young. Basically, I don't know. I mean, the SEBI keeps uh, making rules and uh, changes them. And that reminds me of uh, United Kingdom Sinha, who's also on our board. That is UK Sinha, United Kingdom. I call him United Kingdom Sinha. I met him at the Vedanta uh, this thing, uh, company meeting. So, and, and that reminds me, sir, uh, that now the tax is, I mean, I know you are the only person who will do it. Now the tax is being debited at source, senior people like me, like 75, 80 year old people, they expect us to go and give during this pandemic times on 15F and 15H to the company so that my tax is not debited at source, basically. And then if it's debited at source, then I have to run from pillar to post. I have to pay a chartered accountant to file my return so I get that money back after one or two years. So, so the, the data of my shareholding is collected by the different companies from the person who has my DMAT account. The person who has my DMAT account has my name, has my address, has my PAN card, has my Aadhaar card. And uh, I mean, everything, all the details are there with him. So if I give one form or if I give him undertaking, okay, yes, I am, a, I am a poor farmer. My income is not more than say 2 lakh rupees a year from dividend maybe in a few companies in the dividend is 20 and 30 thousand rupees so that time they debit tax at source but then total income is not uh, the thing uh, to be uh, sort of if you club it so mr uk sinna united kingdom sinna mr deepak parek mr keki mystery can you all let tell sebi or whatever it is whoever is responsible okay why can't we give this information to one source like you, all the industrialists say, we want one window clearing, one window clearing. We don't want to go to 10 different departments of the government. So similarly, I as a shareholder, I won't want to write to 100 and 200 companies and my form 15 have made a bhara bhara. And in that case, another thing, HDFC Bank is a very good bank. They send us a detail and they say, yes, you just say yes or no and form 15F. It's a pre-filled form 15F. I hope I'm not taking, I will not take more than two months. And... Uh, So data is going to be king now. So all the data basically you should take from one source, one window clearing. Regarding tax at source information taken from the thing. Ha, sir, uh, I, and all the good things mentioned by the previous shareholder, I will not repeat it. I, I mean, everything, I mean, I'm investor because of Mr. Deepak Pare. So, and um, what I was like to be first, you give us rights issue. So make use of this market and give us rights issue at a premium. A loss making company, an IPO, can collect more than 3 lakh crore rupees. I will not name the company, the, the IPO just got over last week. 
that they were loss making company people are sort of crazy to invest in a loss making company so why can we my profit making company the share price is now 2400 you give me a rice issue at 1000 1000 rupees and that means in 2 rupee share you are getting 998 rupees and then once you get after the rice issue then next time what you do is you split the share from 2 rupees you make it 1 rupee like uh, uh your hdfc bank and then later on you may think of giving us a bonus share Mr. Rani, may we request you to please return to the queue? There are several participants waiting for their turn, sir. Okay, I was there, no? I mean, you heard me, no? Hello. We could hear you, Mr. Rani. Okay, so I finished. No, thank you. Thank you, Deepak Parekh and Mr. J J Irani, and Apna. Please bring Narsim Munji, the handsome young man, back again. That is all. And Kaki Misri, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Adi. Bye, bye, Mr. Deepak Parekh. Bye. Thank you. Our next question is from uh, speaker share shareholder number fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. They are joining together. That's from Mrs. Sharad Kumar Jibrat Shah, Ms. Surekha Sharad Kumar Shah, and Ms. Nirupama Sharad Kumar Shah. May we request you to please proceed with your question? Uh, Deepak Bhai, my first question: Whether you can hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me, sir? Hello. Yes, Hello? yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I yeah, can sir, hear you. Sir, sir, my basic question: Why you are absent in last stadium, sir, <laughs> of sixteenth uh, July? And uh, today, Economic Times and what you assured people that it is going to strongly rebound. That is what you said in today's Economic Times. But at the same time. And you are referring HDFC life, but the uh, news is their claims are increased four times in last uh, uh, sir. And another thing, government is started using blockchain. That is also a news. So whether it's a big group HDFC group, whether blockchain, which is the most safe, most costly device. Whether you have started using it or not, that I would like to know. And now I look to say why HDFC. Say your uh, employee size is very small compared to HDFC bank. But at the same time, what I am looking here, the twenty-three rupees dividend is equal to four thousand one hundred forty-three crores. And if I look into HDFC bank dividend. It is one thousand eight hundred crore. Definitely, looking even if the size is small, but your dividend value is very high, double of the HDFC bank. So thank you very much. And so if I refer page number twenty-five, see, overall our results are not good compared to previous year, but the profit before fair value is higher than nineteen twenty this year. Another thing is debit equity ratio is also reduced, sir. Uh, now I will talk about the other one. I, I, somebody said, why do a group a company secretary ask me? You don't have to make him group company secretary because he works like a group company secretary. When I write to him. He gets a reply from other companies also for me. And another thing about taxation for me is the government has made a list of specified person so that that and that is a good information. And also he has informed me what uh, HDFC has received from. All companies and HDFC, the particular out of these four companies, what I observed, whenever I write a mail, I get a auto re response, and then afterwards I get a reply. Also, sometimes you uh, excuse why you I write so many letters, but whenever there is any information, I have to write. So I cannot write consolidated letter. Another thing, say yesterday, whole. Controlled by HDFC Group, sir. Whole market was controlled by HDFC Group. It looks like that you are the leader of the market now. 
and uh, you talked about uh, housing loan and this and that but my experience is only that neuron company is alive for last 16 years it's only because of hdfc and really they are doing uh, construction work sir uh, another thing sir yesterday there was a new that your q1 results were not good and that is why the market has fallen down whether you have declared results that i would like to and another thing uh, two days back i have issued a letter from and what SBI gives me a clear picture of slippage, clear picture of provisions, clear picture of NPA, and this is a financial company. So this information, then on the basis of ten years, why publish the balance sheet? Last ten slippage, what was provision? What was NPA? Definitely, and this is basically fundamental figures. So that is I. And what you say Mr. The Shah, sorry to interrupt. May, May I we request you to please complete May, your question, sir? May I don't have much two questions. And another thing you say, remain calm. You don't, don't have any options, sir, during this position. And another thing that your consolidated report is excellent. So why don't you do that on the, uh, in the highlight so that we can go to pressure is very high. Another thing, sir, somebody was talking about the shares going to the government. If you see section 38 of SBI, the section 38 of SBI says only dividend goes to government, shares doesn't go to government. And uh, what somebody said that if, if any new issues, that we, we must get, our, uh, get preferential or the right shares. And if you just see HDFC Bank, this uh, company secretary, Santosh Haldelkar, has confirmed in the reply that any issues hereafter, the shares in that, that only they will get allotment in new issues. So, and with the meeting, so I'm very happy and you should also do it same way. Another thing, sir, HDFC, AMC, already I have written to you that issue is not resolved. I have written to them also uh, before that 16. So please look into it. And because that issue is not very big, so you do it. And last question is bank. See, today's price of Bandhan is very low compared to what version price. So how much money we lost in Bandhan? That I would like to know. And that's all. Thank you for uh, accommodating me as a speaker. And I am very happy with you, sir. Huh? Uh, I think, sir, one thing is that, yes, this whether because you are there, you, this HDFC bank or HDFC, HDFC group doesn't come under RTI because people say if Deepak Parikh is there, why RTI is required? Because he is himself is a transfer and you have got a, a um, uh, the Supreme Court uh, meeting on uh, or the hearing on 22nd. So please clarify on these points. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take our next question from speaker shareholder number 18, Mr. Hasmukh T. Vora. He's connected via an audio call. Please proceed with your question, sir. Yeah, thank you, madam. I am a shareholder of HDFT Limited since many years. And I am very happy about the appreciation I am getting, the, the regular dividends, and also I am investing in FD. Second thing is I uh, heartily thank Mr. Ajay Agarwal because he is very cooperative. If we have any, any problems, he is attending immediately, and uh, that is uh, very nice of him. So my compliments to him. Third thing is uh, FD offices. See, uh, last May, uh, some years back, there was an office at Wadala, and then there was an office at uh, Parel. But that Parel office has been closed since about one and a half years. And uh, subsequently, we are facing a lot of problems because in our area, that is Matunga, Sayan, Wadala, Dadar, there is absolutely no office. 
and uh, it is very difficult to Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we've lost the connection for Mr. Vora. Um, we will take our next question in the meanwhile. That's from speaker shareholder number 19, Tamal Kumar Majumdar. Please proceed with your question. Mr. Tamal Kumar Majumdar, may we request you to please uh, unmute your microphone and go ahead with your question. Go ahead, Tamal. I'm um, sorry, Mr. We Majumdar, we are unable to hear you. Uh, Mr. Majumdar, we're not able to hear you. Maybe our technical team can speak with you separately and help you rejoin the question queue, sir. In the meanwhile, we'll take our next question. That's from speaker shareholder number 20, Mr. Rishikesh Chopra. He's connected via an audio call. Mr. Chopra, could you please proceed with your question? Uh, yes, please. Thank you very much for giving me the time. My question to the management is, the coronavirus and subsequent lockdowns have left virtually no industry untouched. After COVID, how many employees have been sacked, hired, and salary cut in the percentage, if any? What are the new innovations and new products launched after April 1? And what is the response so far? What are the cost-cutting initiatives done by the management? Please uh, enlighten me. Hello. Uh, do you have any more questions, Mr. Chopra? No, thank you. Please thank end you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chopra. You. Thank you. Our next question is from speaker shareholder number 21, Vinayak S. Bapat. Please go ahead with your question. Uh, good afternoon, sir. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hope I'm audible. Could you confirm that, please? You're audible and yes, visible, sir. You know the The country has been ravaged by the pandemic, as you all know. And unfortunate, that tremendous loss of to speak of that one. I'm very happy we have not at SDFC had a single casualty because as otherwise maybe our board would have reported any casualty if we had. And uh, so I'm very happy for an performance from the company on this score. Secondly, sir, it, <coughs> if we have had any casualties, I think, think an Om Shat would have been appropriate for the fallen uh, uh, employees of ours. Uh, Mr. Nasir Munji, sir, been a pleasure to have you on our board over the years and in addition to the HDFC limited board I have had the opportunity to interact with you on Cummins and Tata Motors and you will be missed. However, there is every cloud has a silver lining. Maybe you will have more time in Pune and we can offline interact. Dr. Iran, <coughs> what an innings and we respect you for all your wise advice over the years and it will be missed by our board. Having said that, sir, I'll just move on to some of the business items. Before that, I would be failing in my duty if I do not acknowledge and appreciate the effort of Ajay Agarwal and his team. It's an outstanding secretarial team. They go to great lengths to make the shareholders at home and also facilitate their participation in the company's affairs. Sir, a few points on our quality of reporting. Page number two, a nice table at the heading. It would help if it is outlined or uh, highlighted, whether this is a standalone statistic or a consolidated picture. And I will also appreciate if we can add one of the two lines in that table, the sanctions, year on year sanctions given or year on year dismissed. The choice is left to the management team. Either of that would give a clear indication as to how the business is progressing over the years. The 
outstanding loans is net of our sale of loans so very often the outstanding advances number is not truly an indicator of how good the business was or how we clocked on the business front sir on page 73 there is a beautiful rbi uh, new norms pie chart which which shows what is the new requirement in line with the new rbi norms help if we had the current year's status also because in as much as you have nicely laid out what is expected of hdfc limited 22 31 323 if the position on 31 321 was also there immediately we would have known okay the corporation is 80% there 90% there and we have a small gap to bridge and also sir on the pie chart if we had a previous year number we can always immediate to it and say the company is doing well or not there is a small inconsistency in our reporting between pages 34 and 64 and it pertains to the commission payable to our chairman as well as our independent directors on page 34 we have a different set of figures and they say that we have not increased the commission paid to ids as well as chairman but if you see page 64 the commission paid there is different from what is on page 34 this inconsistency may be you know uh, you can answer that on page 63 on the csr committee of directors we have a nice table but we do not have the sitting fees paid to the csr committee members is it that the csr committee members are working gratis of the cause for which a csr is there if it is there sir they have worked in gratis we would appreciate and respect their contribution sir <coughs> on the governance side we have been at the forefront we are the gold standard if you see across corporate india and page 167 highlights this in no small way the csr contribution that we have made good for fy 15 16 of rupees 20 crores however small it might look is noteworthy very few corporations have made good past shortfalls our own hdfc bank has not made good for the same years and the quantum is 113 crores and i have brought it up at their meeting and i would urge madam renu karnad who is our oversight director on the hdfc bank to nudge them and get them to complete that because if they are not short of money or profits or anything i think mr. our Bapad, oversight would help sorry to interrupt yes. mr bapat uh, may we request you to uh, complete your question quickly as there are the participants Marie. waiting for their turn yeah i understand hmm? sir in our page 207 and 208 where we give a asset liability match and mismatch which is required as per rbi you might notice that three or four of the first buckets in terms of day 0 15 30 40 40 are all of no use because the annual report comes to us three months after the balance sheet date and if there is any match or mismatch it is of no use however being an infrastructure business where our lending and borrowing is on the longer term the buckets after 5 years can be suitably classified 5 to 7 7 to 10 so that we get a correct picture of the asset and liability the whole purpose of that asset liability matching would be served and secondly that asset liability if you can have on one page it will save us a lot of current next because we have to keep turning back and forth the assets is on one page the liability is on the next page and if you can add a total column then it gives a complete picture so i i really have to ask you please assessment in yes what is the amount invested in rupees yes and with the new regulation to be on hfc increasing do you foresee a time in the near future in 3 years that dfc will have to seriously look at its investment portfolio and decide because we may end up you know having to work or oblige multiple regulators the insurance business goes to ira di or whatever the amc business goes to sebi or whatever and the banking business and housing finance is going to rbi 
so we must seriously look at that from a portfolio point of view and the business strategy committee i would urge them to look at two or three promising opportunities one is data centers data centers are emerging as a very very promising uh, business area in india and all of them require a lot of good real estate so instead of funding some office premises sir bapatam sorry uh, with developers sorry to interrupt sir bapat micro uh, school develop and do a deal for entities will this bapat you so have extended your time so there are several participants waiting for their turn i understand ma'am i'm just about to complete and on these data centers sir we can mount solar panels so that way we can fund and then we should look at green movement we are there are lot of led buildings today hdfc has got good credit rating so if we tap into the global green bonds market we have virtual this thing thank you patient hearing thank you sir thank you Our next question is from speaker shareholder number twenty-two, Dharav Jamadar. Please go ahead with your question. Greetings of the day to every dignitary. An honor and privilege to be in front of you. Uh, my best wishes and farewell to the two retiring directors, sir. I hope I am audible and visible. Mr. Jamadar, we can see you and hear you. Please proceed. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. so uh, and i congratulate each and every stakeholders and board members and employees on showing such courageous uh, attitude and perseverance in delivering such a fantastic number in last year i have certain questions which i would like the board to address my first question is to chairman sir sir where do you see our company 6 years down the line when we will be having our 50th agm second looking at the financialization in india do you see our country is following the western world and japan japanese economy that is having in uh, savings rate at nil or negative if yes then what will be the financial landscape in india at that particular time third is our company foraying into a new business or any financial services which we don't have till now fourth what according to you apart from covid or economic slowdown are the major headwinds for us in uh, in the near future fifth what synergy has the merger of hdfc argo and apollo munich health insurance company limited created till now any other, and what further synergy can we expect from this particular merger uh, next why does our company uh, utilize black and scholes model particularly for determining fair price of esops given to our uh, employees and why not two other models that are there binomial option pricing model? and monte carlo simulation model so can you please uh, elucidate the logic behind that next can we expect uh, a merger with hdfc bank if yes again what sort of synergy can be unlocked sixth uh, has our company invested in any unicorn business a small suggestion looking at the current uh, educational uh, landscape in our country right now edtech is really a growing business as we have already uh, have hdf uh, hd parek foundation which is which has already done csr activity of uh, around 38.94 crores uh, in this year out of 189.82 crore of the total csr done so you can uh, look into that matter also and we also have our funding uh, company that is hdfc credila next why don't our company list its adr or G uh, gdr lastly a small request which i would like to uh, put uh, through this platform is sir having a profound research and education and finance background i would really like to associate myself with this company in the research and finance department thank you sir looking forward for your answers thank you our next speaker shareholder number 23 has connected via an audio call this is humain pordehi request you to please proceed with your question can you hear me can you hear me yes yes ma'am can you hear me Yeah, uh, Mr. Deepak Parikh, we are missing a physical AGM. As you know, we used to meet you personally, along with our mis beloved Kaki Mystery and the others. We really hope physical AGMs come back and we again get to meet you. So I, so I also want to draw your attention. Please take up this matter with the authorities. How is it practical for us to file 50H form? 
ये कंपनी सो मेनी कंपनी जस्ट नॉट प्रैक्टिकल एंड आर टैक्सीज कीप ऑन बीइंग कट 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 एंड कीप ऑन गेटिंग लेटर्स हाउ मच ऑफ आर टीडीएस हैज बीन कट अननेसेसरीली वी कैन कोप फाइनिंग फिफ्टी रेट फॉर फॉर्मिंग ऑल द कंपनीज नाउ अनदर थिंग इज आई कुड नॉट हियर योर स्पीच Uh, so we would like to know so how is the real estate market just now? Is it picking up after the pandemic? Because I am on audio, that is the reason. So I am your HDFC MC. I was not unmuted, so I could not talk. Though I was on my mobile since two hours. So I am uh, just one, uh, one more thing. Of course, like the others, even I completely praise our company secretary and their team. For taking so much effort in bringing us to the speaker's platform, it needs lots of patience, follow-up, and everything. So thank you, thanks to your company secretary and Lakshmi and all the others for all the effort they have done and the patience in bringing us to the speaker's platform. So now regarding this so work from home, so I would just like to know regarding your offices all over India. So are they open? Are the staff working there? So because. Uh, Uh, you see, digital, digital is so practical. You know, now I came to know how to do online booking and online purchases. Being a senior citizen, so if the office is there, they go directly and do the needful. So I just want to know: uh, is it work from home or are the offices functioning all over India and uh, so on? So we wish a company all the best. We wish you also all the best and. We look forward to still better days ahead. You have, of course, rewarded the shareholders a lot. You are an authority yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will now take Thank questions you. from our participants who have been able to reconnect to the conference, to the AGM. Our next speaker shareholder is number nineteen, Mr. Tamil Kumar Majumdar. Please proceed with the question. Was oh, I am audible, ma'am? Yes, sir. You are. Ah, ah. Good noon, Parikh sir, Mistri sir, Punji sir, Doctor Irani and other directors of the company. Myself, Tamil Kumar Mazumdar, and a few shareholders from Kolkata. And after the meeting, we will we will miss the electrifying presence of our beloved Nasir Punji sir, and I am totally agree uh, agree with the Adil, who is our we may take him after one year or six months as a director again and we also wish him uh, uh, wish him a uh, good health and spirit in the coming years so my special thanks to our beloved company secretary mr ajay agarwal and his team consists of urdhava bhattacharya lakshmi and others for maintaining cordial relationship with shareholders Mr. Agarwal is always available over phone or mail, and always ready to sort out any share-related, shareholder-related problems. He is with our company for a long time, and has the vision to be the group secretary. Honestly, hope that you and the board will consider our request in this respect. Sir, I have some queries relating to audited accounts and other matters. Firstly, considering the COVID scenario, on our financial results for financial year 21 is really praiseworthy. Due to transfer of growth finance to Bandhan and profit and sale of investment totaling a hoping twelve thousand six hundred forty three crores during financial year twenty, the company booked a PBT of twenty thousand three fifty one crores during financial year twenty. And without considering growth episode, this year result is better than financial year twenty. Considering the bleak scenario due to second wave of COVID and ensuing third wave. what is your expectation from the remaining part of the current year whether growth of loan disbursement took place during the q1 of financial year 22 sir what is the status of direction given by rbi to reduce our share holding in hdfc argo below 50% by 12th may 2021 would you please share with us the profit on sell if it is already being carried out and is there any possibility of hdfc argo To to go for public issue in the near future, and sir, we want to know. Would you please share us with your thoughts in respect of RBI uh, RBI direction, rationale of RBI direction of decreasing shareholding of our insurance companies below fifty percent? I want to know your viewpoint. 
Our company also sold 24.48% equity capital of Good Host Presses, Private Limited, during financial year 22. It is in page 143. Would you share with us the profit booked in the, uh, on the sale during financial year 22? Sir, despite COVID issue looming large on us, our cost to income ratio excluding notional cost on ESOPs stood at 7.7% from 9% during financial year 20. The spread on loans over the cost of borrowings also increased from 2.27% to 2.29%, which is really commendable. What is your expectation in this regard during the remaining part of the year? And what about the first quarter? In this regard, what about the first quarter? Sir, our company made a provision of 2,948 crores, including provision for impact of COVID during financial year 21. Uh, in page under page 83 of the report mentioned that cumulative COVID provision as on 31st March is 844 crores. In this connection, I want to know the amount of provision made during financial year 21 uh, in respect of COVID issue and what was the loss borne by our company in this respect during financial year 21. Sir, out of e-cross remitted to eligible customers by our company during financial year 21, in terms of announcement of government relating to ex on account of difference between compound interest and simple interest, our company received an amount of 213 crores from the government. What will be the fate of the remaining 65 crores? Whether received during the current year or it is being, it is being adjusted against PL account. The difference between 278 and 213 crores. And under which head the company showed 307 crores received by it. Again, uh, our company issued 1 crore 70 lakhs, 50,000, 57,400 warrants at an issue price of 180 per warrant with a right to exchange warrant against one equity share at a predetermined price of 2,165 2, per share anytime before 36 months from the date of allotment. Under which head the company showed this 307 crores received on account of uh, the uh, 180 per share. And whether any conversion took place as on debt, whether the said 180 rupees per warrant will be adjusted against proposed premium of 2,163 crores, a 63 per share at the time of conversion. I want to know whether 180 will be adjusted against 2,163. Please share your thoughts in this regard, sir. Sir, you told the issue of issue in the chairman's letter regarding poaching of home loan, home loan customers by other players in the market. It is in page 23. Whether our company lost substantial customers due to such activities by other players. Uh, Mr. And Majumdar, may we request you to uh, uh, complete your question, sir? Uh, whether our company also is a part of the game. So, I also believe that insurance must be made come mandatory with immediate effect against every housing loan in order to safeguard the interest of both the customers and the company. The government and RBI must take appropriate steps in this regard immediately. In this connection, I want to know the loss borne by our company during financial year 2021 due to non-availability of the same, that is insurance policy. And sir, company invested 1,000 crores in the equity of Yes Bank in terms of rescue plan by the Reserve Bank. We have 21.24% holding in HDFC Bank and 9.9% .9 holding in Bandhan Bank. Whether the investment is made, made on its uh, <coughs> what role the company plays as regards investment in Bandhan Bank and Yes Bank. Whether we have appointed any nominee on the board of these banks. Please share your thoughts, sir. Sir, our company used to collect yearly fees for using HDFC brand by our subsidiary associates. What was the total amount earning in this respect during financial year 21? And sir, audit report mentioned the gross value of assets worth 137 crores is in the process of selling. What is the present status in this respect? And company received a regulatory and whether the company received regulatory clearance in respect of true properties valued at 114 crores in favor of the company, as mentioned in the audit report, page number 101. 
And sir, you converted HDFC Credula Financial Services into public limited company. What is the rationale? What is the reason for such conversion? And whether our company may go for the uh, for its listing in the coming years. And last one question, sir, regarding resolution number nine. Last year the resolution was there, but there was no issue regarding a, a issue of NCDs today totaling not exceeding rupees one lakh fifty thousand twenty five thousand. Whether it will remain a enabling resolution during the current year also. And lastly, sir, resolution number eight deals with the borrowing power of the company from five lakh crores to six lakh crores. And our borrowing balance as on thirty first March two thousand twenty one is four lakh forty one thousand crore. 41 lakh uh, 1365 crores whether it is enough for a period of five years next five years because the earlier resolution was taken during 2018 so whether the increase will cover our demand uh, our requirement up to the next four five years thank you all for present hearing thank you our next speaker shareholder has reconnected to the AGM. That's uh, speaker shareholder number 13, Shobhna Mehta. Please proceed with your question. Ms. Shobhna Mehta, may we request you to please go ahead with your question. I'm sorry, we are unable to hear you, Ms. Shobhna Mehta. We will move to our next speaker shareholder, number 18, Mr. Hasmukti Bora. Please proceed with your question. You may ask your question right now, sir. Yes, sir. My next point was regarding uh, our D, this group finance. We had uh, that was merged with uh, Bandhan Bank. In the process, our company, HDS Limited, has made very handsome gains. But as far as the shareholders are concerned, they were lost heavily. Let's say my hard earned savings I had invested in growth finance. But because of this merger with Bandhan Bank, I have substantially lost a uh, good amount of my investment. So, So that was not a good decision by our company. And uh, next point is thank you and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from speaker shareholder number 25, Mr. Manoj Maheshwari. Please proceed with your question. Hi, am I audible? Yes, sir. Great. Honorable Chairman, sir, distinguished board of directors of HDFC, CFO and the company secretary and fellow shareholders who has joined the meeting. I am Manoj Mishri joining this meeting from Jaipur, sir. At the outset, I congratulate the entire board members, CSR committee, and those who are involved in CSR activity in our corporation for commendable job. I was just going through the CSR activity undertaken during the year and the amount spent. It is across the country and the sectors which you have covered is really great. So hats off to you all people for commendable CSR activity in truly letter and spirit. My first observation is with regard to divestment of our investment in HDFC Ergo and HDB Financial Services. Though HDB is subsidiary of our associate company, sir, but since we are promoter of HDFC Bank also, so indirectly we also control this company. Considering the prevalent uh, IPO scenario in our country, investors community are desperate to hear from you about the IPOs of both the beautiful companies in our kitty. So I would like if you can share your views on this. And last but not the least, the bonus issue which was given by our corporation way back in 2002, to the best of my understanding, sir, in the ratio of one is to one. So, of course, present financial and economic scenario may not be befitting, but I would request the honorable board to please 
consider it in due course of time whenever it is appropriate because we as an investor intends to hear this good news from you of bonus equity shares this is all from my side thank you so much for giving this opportunity over to you sir thank you thank you mr maheshwari thank you our next question is from uh, speaker shareholder number 26 mr bharat shah डायरेक्टर सर मेरा नाम भरत शाह सर मैं डेढ़ से पौने स्पीच कंप्लीट करने की सर कोई क्वेरी नहीं है एकदम कंपनी चला ही है शेयर होल्डर का हित को हमेशा ध्यान रखा है शेयर होल्डर का रिस्पेक्ट दिया है सर और मुश्किल परिस्थिति में भी आपने छप्पर फाड़ के डिविडेंड दिया है सर बहुत बहुत धन सर कंपनी दिन दोगुनी रात चौगुनी आगे बढ़े ईश्वर को मेरी हृदय पूर्वक की प्रार्थना है सर और सर एक जहाँ कंपनी में जहाँ भी है तो न्यूट्रली वो कंपनी बहुत बहुत आगे बढ़ती है सर शेयर होल्डर को बहुत रिटर्न्स मिलता है सर और अच्छा डिविडेंड मिलता है लोगों को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर और सर ये भी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ और सर मेरे शेयर ने बोला ऐसा मैं भी इसमें आपको दो रुपया से एक करने का रिक्वेस्ट हूँ और टाइम हो गया तो लास्ट बोनस आपने कभी दिया था बताना जरूर और पर एक बोनस ये साल तो सर जरूर देने की मेरे को आपको रिक्वेस्ट है और सर मैं कंपनी से अजय अग्रवाल जी उनकी टीम की और उनकी पूरी बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर कोई भी क्वेरी हो तो जल्दी सोल्व करते है शेयर होल्डर को देते तो मैं अजय अग्रवाल जी और लक्ष्मी जी की पूरी टीम को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर और अजय अग्रवाल जी कहूँ सर तो बहुत हार्ड वर्किंग और हॉनेस्ट है वो तो उन मेरे आगे एक शेयर होल्डर ने बोला ऐसा मैं भी बोलता हूँ ग्रुप कंपनी सेक्रेटरी साथ कंपनी के साथ ग्रुप कंपनी का हेड ग्रुप कंपनी के हेड भी जरूर लक्ष्मी जी की लक्ष्मी जी को भी बहुत बढ़ोतरी दीजिए सर बाकी सर कोविड कंट्रोल में आने के बाद गेट टूगेदर जरूर करना सर नेक्स्ट ईयर जो आज स्पीकर शेयर होल्डर आए उनको जरा आप जरूर मिलने का गेट टूगेदर करना और कोविन कंट्रोल में आने के बाद नेक्स्ट ईयर फिजिकल मीटिंग सर जरूर हॉल में करना और फेस टू फेस अपन मिलते थे ऐसा मिलेंगे तो बहुत आनंद आएगा सर बाकी सब रिजोल्यूशन में मेरा पूरा सपोर्ट है सर जय श्री कृष्ण जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र सर जय श्री कृष्ण जय हिंद सर थैंक यू मिस्टर शाह थैंक यू मिस्टर शाह थैंक यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम शेयर होल्डर नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन मिस्टर चेयरमैन दीपक जी सीओ मिस्टर के के मिस्त्री जी कंपनी सेक्रेटरी अजय अग्रवाल जी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट Ajay for making an annual report of 386 pages, which is colourful. It's a heavy tome of a book. Uh, though it is uh, electronically, we have to read it, which is very cumbersome to read. Uh, had it been uh, physical, it would have been much easier to flip back and forth the pages. Yeah, uh, one uh, observation, sir. In your introductory speech, you mentioned there are 10 resolutions for these uh, AGM, while the notice of the AGM mentions only nine resolutions. So there is a slight uh, difference. The, only, the notice mentioned nine, and you said ten uh, resolutions in your uh, meeting. Yeah, <clears throat> we are happy with you, Deepak sir. You have created a lot of uh, wealth for all your uh, stakeholders in all the companies that we are invested in. We are I'm invested in all your four companies, uh, uh, and uh, <clears throat> and they have created immense wealth for um, all the shareholders. Yeah, uh, coming to uh, this thing, sir. Uh, uh, 
सर लास्ट ईयर वी इशूड वन करोड़ सेवेंटी लैक वॉरेंट्स फ्रॉम विच एट द रेट ऑफ वन हंड्रेड एंड एटी एंड रिसीव थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवन करोड़ एंड द बैलेंस इट इज टू वन सिक्स फाइव रुपीज टू वन सिक्स फाइव पर वॉरेंट वुड बी एक्सरसाइजेबल बाई द वॉरेंट होल्डर्स नाउ दिस टू वन सिक्स फाइव इज प्लस वन एटी और इज इट माइनस वन एटी आई वुड लाइक टू नो फ्रॉम यू ऑन दी वन लैक वन करोड़ सेवेंटी लैक वॉरेंट दैट यू हैव इश्यूड ड्यूरिंग द पास्ट ईयर या आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू नो लाइक द डेट फॉर योर आरबीआई डेडलाइन फॉर यू टू रिड्यूस अ स्टेक इन एरगो एच डी एफ सी एरगो हैज गॉन बाय इट वॉज फिफ्टींथ मे फिफ्टींथ इट हैज गॉन बाय नॉ बाई वेन आर यू कंटेम्पलेटिंग टू रिड्यूस अ स्टेक और आर वी लाइकली टू सी अ फ्रेश इश्यू ऑफ दोज शेयर्स टू शेयर होल्डर्स इन डायल्यूटिंग एज यू हैव डन इन योर अदर कंपनीज एच डी एफ सी लाइफ एंड एच डी एफ सी एम सी वेर यू हैड गिवन प्रेफरेंस शेयर्स टू दी प्रेफरेंस टू दी शेयर होल्डर्स ऑफ द एच डी एफ सी वी लाइक टू सी दैट थिंग yeah i endorse your views on the regulatory tweaks that are needed as mentioned on page 23 for insurance to be become part of the home loan when a loan taker is there aligning the accounting standards for banks and the hfcs regulating of shifting of regulating the shifting of borrowers from one borrow to the other i endorse your views on those things sir and page 23 which you mentioned yeah and i am happy with the csr activity you have done i wish the company all the best for all the years to come by and you keep on creating wealth for us i am very and i am signing off vinod agarwal from mumbai sir thank you thank you mr agarwal thank you our next question is from uh, speaker shareholder number 28 mr k s pala subramanian please yes. go ahead with your question audible madam is it audible yes sir Yes, yes, Mr. we can hear you, Mr. Chairman, Managing Director, and other directors. I am K S Balasurunin, a shareholder from Coimbatore, taking part in this 44th AGM of India's largest and leading housing finance company, S D F C, as a speaker. In the backdrop of COVID-19 pandemic situation, the performance of the company, though not an outstanding one, yet remained highly satisfactory. The interest income was forty-four thousand four sixty-one crores, as against forty-five thousand two fifty-three during twenty twenty. Profit before tax was twenty-four thousand two thirty-seven crores, versus twenty-six thousand one ninety-three one ninety-three crores. EPS was one ninety-five point five nine versus one twenty-four point one four, as against the paid-up capital of three sixty point seven nine crores. The results are hefty with one lakh fifty six thousand three fifty three crores. The focus on ESG has to be appreciated. Zero plastic bottles, recycling, paper waste, solar panels, etc. Speak for themselves. Really, SDFC has stolen a march over others in this regard. Regarding quarries under the QAP, the company raised ten thousand crores. By allotting five lakh sixty-eight thousand fifty-six lakh eighty-one thousand one eighty-two shares, shares with a face value of rupees two at thousand seven sixty per share, and also raised three hundred seven crores through the issue of one lakh seventy thousand one crore seventy seventy lakh fifty-seven thousand four hundred warrants at an issue rate of two eighty per warrant. With a right to exchange the same on or before 10/8/23 at 2,105 per share. Besides, the company also through NCD raised 3,693 crores at the coupon rate of 5.4 percent interest. Sir, first of all, the issue price of 1,760 per share did not reflect the intrinsic value, and I feel it is grossly undervalued. Secondly. The issue of warrants at 180 per warrant with an inbuilt class with a right to exchange it on or before 10/8/23 at 2,105 is yet another blunder that the company has committed. And blatantly, the move is not at all shareholder friendly, 
sir. Thirdly, the rising of 3,693 crores at 5.4% interest appears to be on the higher side. And what was the need to raise such an amount when incoming deposits were swelling? The deposits as on March 31st, 2021 were 1,50,141 crores as against 1,32,324 crores a year ago. I consider this as not a prudent financial decision. <coughs> Apart from this, the board has also approved issue of redeemable non-convertible dividends, secured or unsecured, or any other hybrid in instruments up to 1.25 lakhs crores within a year. What is the hurry? Is the situation is so warranted? The collection efficiency has improved from 96.3% during September 2020 to 96% in March 21. In that circumstances, what is the need for raising capital again and again? And what interest rate they are to be issued? And are they on private investment places? Merger of SDFC subsidiary Ergo Health Insurance with the SDFC General Insurance was approved by the National Company Law Tribunal. And as per RBS instructions, the shareholding in SDFC life insurance came down to 49.97%, and which seems to be the subsidiary of the company. Higher position than regulatory needs needs rethinking, Chairman Sir. Chairman has said that the provision was made for 13,625 crores, which is much more than 5,491 crores needed. Is it due to the uncertain future of the possible COVID-19 second or third wave? <coughs> Is the company satisfied with the restructured loans provisioning? Portfolios of the outstanding borrowers have been critically analyzed. We have about 3,250 employees. And with the care and share taken by the management, I hope all of them are safe and secured. Under CSR, the company has spent nearly 169.2 crores, mostly through SD Parekh Foundation, resorted to direct procurement of essential medical equipments and distributed to the needy, which is once again very commendable one, sir, compared to other companies. Direct procurement and direct distribution is this something fantastic. Uh, as a shareholder, though I am happy with the increased dividend of rupees 23 per share, yet I feel that considering the strong balance sheet and excellent working, the dividend distribution policy needs a relook. And uh, whether to declare any bonus shares or to enhance the dividend to 30 rupees next year is at the disposal of the board. Once again, wishing the company a glorious future. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank Mr. Bala Subramanian. Our next question is from uh, speaker shareholder number 29, Mr. Dinesh G. Bhatia. Please go ahead with your question. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, could you please unmute your uh, Microphone and proceed with your question, sir. Uh, yes. Abhi aap sun sakte hai? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aapki aawaz aa rahi hai. Ah. Deepak Parekh sir, tumne to ghana ghana congratulations kahu ke tumhari patient ne woh daad aap uju atya chudi na hume ghani meeting ko attend kari chhe. Maine ab tak kafi meeting attend kiya hai, jisme chairman jo hai, usme main aapko to ye plus mein rakta hu. कि आपकी जो पेशेंट है कल हमारी HDFC लाइव की मीटिंग थी वो भी जो तीन बजे चालू हुई आपने साढ़े पांच बजे तक शेयर ओल्डर को मौका दिया और शेयर ओल्डर का जवाब दिया शांति से पेशेंट से आप जो शेयर ओल्डर को सुन रहे हैं और सेटिस्फेक्ट्री जवाब दे रहे हैं उसके लिए मैं आपको खूब खूब आभार मानता हूँ कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन कहता हूँ की बहुत आपका नेचर बढ़िया है मैंने एक रतन टाटा जी को देखा दूसरा आपको देखा आप उसकी बरोबरी में है कि जो एथिक आप एथिक पर्सन और एक्सलेंट चेयरमैन दोनों में आप एक्सलेंट है सर तो मैं आपको और आपका पूरा टीम को उसके लिए भी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन करता हूँ कि ऐसा पेंडेमिक पीरियड में भी हमारी कंपनी ने अच्छा मुनाफा किया है 
भले हमारा लास्ट ईयर से ईपीएस जो है दो रुपया के सामने एक पांच रुपया हुआ है जो लास्ट ईयर एक वन ट्वेंटी फोर हुआ था ये साल हमारा मुनाफा जो अर्निंग पर शेयर जो है वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव कॉन्सोलिडेटेड है वो फिर भी आपने शेयर होल्डर का जो डिविडेंड है वो जो बढ़ाया है उसके लिए भी आपको आपका टीम को मैं कॉन्ग्रेस करता हूँ थैंक्स करता हूँ कि आपने जो डिविडेंड दो रुपये के शेयर पे ग्यारह जो दिया है लास्ट ईयर वन परसेंट था ये दफे 1150 परसेंट जो डिविडेंड दिया है उसके लिए भी मैं आपको थैंक यू कहता हूं कि बहुत आपका शेयर होल्डर के प्रति जो भावना है बहुत अच्छी भावना है कि शेयर होल्डर को ज्यादा से ज्यादा मिले फायदा वो आपकी बहुत अच्छी चीज है हमें बहुत खुशी हुई और हमारे जो बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर देखते है अकबर के दरबार में जो नवरत्न जो ऐसे जो नौ डायरेक्टर जो है सभी डायरेक्टर किसका पका नहीं करो एक से बढ़ के एक के की मिस्त्री लो के का रेणु कर्नाट जी लो के बाकी के जो जो एक 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 से बढ़ के एक डायरेक्टर आपने चुने हुए हैं जो बहुत बढ़िया काम कर रहे हैं और हमारी कंपनी का जो गुडविल जो है और ही और आगे बढ़ रहा है बस मेरा हर एक रिजोल्यूशन में सब सपोर्ट है और आपका सेक्रेटरियल डिपार्टमेंट का भी मैं थैंक्स करता हूँ कि उन्होंने हमें ये वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस में जोड़ने के लिए हेल्प किया थैंक यू आभार सर थैंक यू मिस्टर भाटिया थैंक यू आर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर शेयर होल्डर नंबर थर्टी मिस्टर कुशाग्र जैन हैज नॉट कनेक्टेड देफर वील मूव विद आर पार्टिसिपेट नंबर थर्टी वन दैट्स हरी राम चौधरी प्लीज प्रोसीड विद योर क्वेश्चन but where, where is your audio video i i don't see uh, uh, you, you no, can hear me moderator you can hear me yes yes can you hear me can i proceed yes, further yes ah, please yes. proceed i uh, see okay uh, 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 chairman sir dipak pare ji my name is hari ram choudhary i am speaking from my home at uh, santa cruz and uh, uh, just just a minute ha uh, Just a minute. Just a minute. Uh, I am speaking from home at Santa Cruz, and uh, uh, I will take only three minutes, Mr. Chairman. Now, uh, you have given, uh, Deepak Ji, you have given a very encouraging picture of this year. We are happy about that. Now, uh, I I suggest I am speaking only for CSR. Kindly let us know how much amount we have spent for COVID-affected people. Whether we provided PPE kits, whether we provided ICU beds. Whether we provided ventilators, oxygen concentrators, or COVID center as a whole, because we are in LGFC providing the premises, or whether we have provided food for migrant workers, what else we have done for the COVID affected people? How much amount we have spent for COVID affected people? And how much total amount we have spent for CSR? And whether this money is more than two percent of the net profit of the company? Now kindly let us know, Mr. Chairman, who is the chairman of the CSR committee? and who are the members of the csr committee and my suggestion is that uh, a get together can be held after diwali fourth november is diwali in second or third no week of november we can have the get together and since all the speaker share holder must have taken two doses of vaccine there will not be any fear of wait of infection now uh, mr chairman uh, we, i appreciate the efforts of company secretary rashmi ji I was not lucky to receive the phone call from Ajay Agarwal ji. Uh, Agarwal ji, I am also Agarwal. Next year, come to come, come to Delhi. Meeting ke baad bhi tera aapka phone aayega. I will be very happy. Now, uh, my request is that uh, since you must have printed some copy of the physical copy, one copy may at least be sent to me. Many companies are sending to me, including the large industry. And uh, I appreciate that uh, the moderator is announcing the speaker name number also. So we know that uh, our number when it will come. Now, uh, for NPA, can let us know what steps you have taken to reduce the NPA, and what uh, um, latest technology you have adopted, digital technology. Kindly let us know about that. And uh, uh, I support all the resolution. I, um, I, uh, I am, I believe in discipline, and therefore, 
I convey, I conclude my speech by conveying my best wishes for all the progress and prospects of the company. My name is Hari Ram Chaudhary. Thank you, Deepak Ji. Thank you, Mr. Chaudhary. Thank you. We'll take a next question from sh speaker shareholder number 32. Ajay Rashmi Sangvi, please go ahead with your question. Respect Mr. Deepak S. Parekh, Vice Chairman and CEO, Mr. K.K. M. Mistri, Ms. Renu Shud Karnad, Managing Director, Board Mr. Ajay Agrawal, the Company Secretary, wonderful person and very cooperative. It has been an honor to be engaged with an organization that SDFC is today. I am proud of the smallest of steps and achievements from digitalizations to the green innovatives, in, which given the size of SGFC will have a massive impact. These two and inspirations and forward steps that sets the benchmark for the industry. No wonder we have been able to make numerous prestigious awards this year too. Sir, my suggestion to you. Sir, my sorry. Sir, my question to you is how Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana credit linked scheme workers and would like to know detailed information my suggestion the AGM annual report shareholder booklet can be circulated in a digital flipbook format and email it becomes a easier to read it is an option to share convert download in plus search option plus thumbnail etc the corporation has also undertaken various relief activities for the human and health crisis faced by different sections of society, healthcare workers and frontline persons such as the police, doctors and sanitation workers. Please note, sir, we run a professional studio where we do cooperate films and professional we would like to offer pro bono services for the initiatives taken by SDFC for all that CS activities which can be complied and shown in future AGMs. Looking forward, I suggest more customer only informative, inclusive drives and campaign that educate customer and create a sense of to the SDFC family. It is the SDFC experience that must be showcased across all customers physically and digitally. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our next Thank question you, is from Sanvi. Our next question is from uh, speaker shareholder number 33, Mr. Deepak Kapoor. Please go ahead with your question. Yes, hi. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Can you hear me? Can yes, we can. You, okay, thank you. This is Deepak Kapoor. I'm from Delhi. Uh, I thank everyone for giving me an opportunity to uh, speak today. Uh, it's a pleasure to uh, speak to all of you. Uh, I must uh, give credit to the board in uh, sort of leading HDFC during this past difficult year. It has been a very difficult year for everybody, for businesses, for individuals. And I think the board has uh, steered the company very well. Uh, my special appreciation for Mr. Mistri. Uh, Mr. Mistri has been, uh, you know, very regularly coming and interacting with the media, uh, with the uh, analysts and uh, newspaper interviews, etc., keeping shareholders informed as to the progress of the company. So that is really appreciated. I have a, a couple of questions. One is uh, regarding our investment in subsidiaries. Um, and as you all know, we have 21% shareholding in HDFC Bank. 
um, that's substantial holding given HDFC Bank is about $112 billion uh, market cap. What what is not very clear is sometimes the benefit we can get out of that 21% uh, shareholding. So how do HDFC limited shareholders benefit? I know there is this uh, unaccounted gains we have out of our listed investments, but sometimes we have bad news from uh, our subsidiaries and you know, uh, maybe HDFC Bank and we get affected uh, because of that. And sometimes we have positive news from our subsidiaries, we, but, but we might not necessarily get, um, you know, positive on our um, uh, stock valuation, etc. because of that. So I think it will be great if the board can sort of uh, give their thoughts on how do you see going forward this 21% investment we have in, in, uh, in HDFC Bank how do we leverage that for the benefit of our shareholders within HDFC Limited? We do have this um, loan origination collaboration, which we have. I do understand that. But I think um, in terms of value we get, other than our price to book multiples, et cetera, because of the unaccounted gains, that clarity is not there to some of the shareholders. So that will be great if we can sort of get the board to give us some responses on that. The other one is, uh, again, related to our stock price is, this calendar year, we seem to be um, pretty much flat in terms of our returns, flat to negative in terms of our return in, uh, on HDFC limited stock price. Uh, the index has given about 10% returns this year, but we have been pretty much flat. Um, so what's the thinking of uh, the board in terms of uh, the future outlook of our stock performance going forward, um, especially given the fact that uh, we have only 11%, I think, is what the uh, mortgage ratio is in terms of percentage of GDP in India, which is quite low, and hence we have a lot of growth uh, going ahead. But still, it seems the market doesn't give us a premium in terms of multiples. And is there a particular reason you feel the market is not giving us a premium? Um, and and uh, what are those reasons? How can we address it? So these are my couple of questions, which I hope... Uh, either Mr. Parekh or Mr. Mistri will be able to answer. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to speak to all of you. Thank you, Mr. Kapoor. Thank you. Our next question is from speaker shareholder number 34, Salesh Mahadevya. Please proceed with your question. Yes. Respected chairman, distinguished directors, <coughs> and members of the company participating in the meeting. Sir, you have given one more year of excellent working. Good report has been presented to the shareholders. Good dividend has been given. And the secretarial department has given good cooperation to enable us to participate. And sir, my best wishes to Nenshi Munji and JJ Irani, who have given their valuable service to the corporation. Sir, now I wish to confine myself only to the page number 12 and 13 of a report regarding our ESG initiatives. Sir, I have no intention of giving any advice. And I don't want to say that the knowledge on the subject is not there with the board of directors. But, sir, I submit, I am little surprised that we have on our board Miss Renu Sud Karnad, our managing director, who is a champion on ESG. Sir, our yesterday's meeting of HDFC Life Science also gave an excellent report on ESG. Not only that, our rating is one of the highest in the country. And uh, Miss Karnad was also a member, a member on the webinar uh, sponsored by Chrisil. And she was one of the major participants. So that is why I would like to know from her what the company will be doing for ESG in the next years to come. Sir, further, I wish to point out that the business responsibility report, I have not been able to find either in the main report 
or separately as it used to be done in the past. It used to give me two important information. One was regarding the total number of employees and in particular women employees. Sir, can you give me some idea about that? And from next year, this DRR report will have to be business responsibility and uh, business responsibility and the development report, uh, which will include all the three aspects of ESG, environment, society, and the governance. So in the report which has been presented on the two pages, it has only been made very briefly about our initiatives in these three areas. But to the best of my knowledge, the best ESG will be that we take into account what our all the stakeholders are also doing in the field of ESG, to what extent they are participating. Sir, the whole world is worried about the planet and therefore ESG has become one of the most important indicator, not only for an individual company, but for the entire economy and for the world. And internationally, all the capital market members, they refer to the ESG, just as we refer to the GDP of a country. So, sir, we would like to hear more on this. Sir, similarly, the related thing, can we expect an integrated report giving an idea about all the six capitals of the company and how they have been used to increase the value for the shareholders. And similarly, sir, CR, CSR is also a part of this entire group of ESG. Well, I could find out that we have spent 189 crores during the year as against our responsibility of 169 crores, which is very much appreciated. And sir, further, what I expect that just as we are one of the leading company in the housing finance, we should be a leader in our ESG activities and we should be the beacon and we should be the guideline to the corporate world as such. Sir, I would like to hear more on this subject. And sir, before I conclude, I must mention that the chorus who are conducting this particular program took more than 70 minutes before they could connect me. And even now, when I hear other speakers, there are often misses and losses, both visual as well as sound. Sir, yesterday's program was a seamless program. Excellent service. Sir, this requires examination because we get an opportunity only once a year. And therefore, we want to enjoy. We want to study. We want to learn from people like you who are some of the prominent citizens of our country. And I respect all of them. And I wish our organization every success which is our way of life in any case. And I don't look at it the result of only one year, but I look at it the performance of the company over a long period of time and which has been excellent as far as our company is concerned. Thank you very much, sir, for giving me the opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Madhavia. Thank you. We will now take up a question from a shareholder who's reconnected. That is oh. shareholder number 13, Ms. Shobna Mehta. Uh, she's connected via audio call. Please go ahead with your question, Ms. Mehta. Hello. 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 Respected chairman. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. We can hear you, Ms. Mehta. Please can proceed. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear Respected you, Shobna Mehta. Uh, respected Chairman Sri Deepak Bhai, Vice Chairman and CEO Sri KKG, Sri MD Sri Mati Renuji, 
और अन्य मेरे जाने माने डायरेक्टर भाई हो और शेयर होल्डर भाई बहन मेरा नाम शोभना मेहता आई एम फ्रॉम सूरत गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन सर ईमेल के थ्रू बैलेंस शीट एंड नोटिस इन टाइम मिली हमारे सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट ने बैलेंस शीट कलरफुल इन्फॉर्मेटिव बनाई है तो मैं हमारे कंपनी सेक्रेटरी श्री अजय जी और उनकी पूरी टीम को और बैलेंस शीट बनाने में जिनका भी योगदान रहा है वो सभी एग्जीक्यूटिव को भी धन्यवाद देते हुए कहूंगी वेरी वेल डन वेरी गुड कीपिट अप सर रिजल्ट देखे स्टडी परफॉर्मेंस दिखाए है पीएटी कम होने के बावजूद भी आपने हमारा डिविडेंड इंक्रीज किया है रुपीज ट्वेंटी थ्री एस अगेंस्ट रुपीज ट्वेंटी वन टू रुपीज के घर पर इसके लिए मैं आपको आप सभी को धन्यवाद देते हुए कहूंगी कि सर ये हमारी कंपनी को जो वेरियस एवॉर्ड भी मिला है इसके लिए भी बहुत बहुत बधाई और ये परफॉर्मेंस एंड एवॉर्ड के लिए मैं कहूंगी सर कि ये हमारे डायनेमिक चेयरमैन श्री दीपक भाई और हमारी स्मार्ट एंड इंटेलिजेंट एमडी श्रीमती रेणु जी आप दोनों की लीडरशिप में और पूरी टीम को देख पूरी टीम का ये वर्क है सो कहूंगी कि आपके लीडरशिप में हमारी कंपनी ने ये कर दिखाया है तो बहुत बहुत हार्दिक बताई देते हुए कहूंगी डे बाय डे आपकी खुशियां हो जाए डबल आपकी जिंदगी से दूर रहे हर ट्रबल भगवान आप सबको रखे बिल्कुल फिट अब आपकी कंपनी में और आपकी जिंदगी में आने वाले हर दिन हो सुपरहिट सर जो क्वेरीज आ गई है वो रिपीटेशन ना करते हुए सिर्फ दो ही क्वेरीज पूछना चाहूंगी सर कोविड 19 की वजह से आपने इस साल भी ये वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिस के थ्रू एजीएम की है तो सर पूछना चाहूंगी कि बैलेंस शीट प्रिंटिंग पोस्टिंग हॉल बुकिंग वगैरह नहीं करना पड़ा तो कितने अमाउंट कंपनी ने सेव किए और सर रुपीज फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड करोड़ के डिफॉल्टर कितने पार्टी है और हो सके तो उनका नाम बताइए इसी के साथ में लास्टली सर ये वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिस मीटिंग के लिए कहूंगी जो बात आप में है आपकी तस्वीर में नहीं आप सबसे मिलना बातें करना बड़ा अच्छा लगता है एनी anyway, भगवान ने चाहा तो नेक्स्ट ईयर हम जरूर मिलेंगे इसी के साथ में ज्यादा नाम बोलते हुए नेक्स्ट मंथ रक्षाबंधन का पवित्र त्योहार आ रहा है तो दीपक भाई मैं आपको और हमारे पूरे बोर्ड ऑफ डिरेक्टर्स को रक्षाबंधन की और सभी एम्प्लॉय बहन भाइयों को भी और शेयर होल्डर बहन भाइयों को भी रक्षाबंधन की शुभकामनाएं देते हुए कहूंगी फूलों की खुशबू कलियों की बाहर चांद की चांदनी अपनों का प्यार मुबारक और सबको रक्षाबंधन एंड आने वाले सभी त्योहार इसी के साथ धन्यवाद आई विश यू ऑल दी बेस्ट फॉर द फ्यूचर सक्सेस आज आपने जो रेजोल्यूशन रखा है वो सभी मैं फुल्ली सपोर्ट करते हुए कंपनी के लिए शुभकामनाएं देती हूँ हमारी कंपनी दिन दोगुनी रात चौगुनी तरक्की करती रहे ताकि आप हमें ईयर बाई ईयर बेटर परफॉर्मेंस के साथ बेटर डिविडेंड और नियर फ्यूचर में बोनस भी दे पाए धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर टेक्निक थैंक यू थैंक यू शोभना मेहता थैंक यू वेरी मच सो दैट वॉज अ लास्ट क्वेश्चन I now hand over the proceedings back to Mr. Parik. Over to you, sir. Okay, let me make some general points before I go to the specific questions asked by our shareholders. Uh, you know the figures, the profit numbers for the year ended March thirty one twenty one, are not comparable with that of the previous year. in the previous year we had recorded a fair value gain consist consequent to the merger of gru finance with bandhan bank which amounted to 9020 crores so the profit figures are also not comparable due to profit on sale of investments which was much lower at 1398 crores this year compared to 3500 last year The other point I'd like to add is that dividend income received during the year was lower as compared to the previous year. In the first half of the year under review, the regulators for banks and insurance company did not permit payment of dividends from profits pertaining to the financial year ended March 20, owing to uncertainties due to COVID. So the comparable comparable figures are not there. profit on sale of investments dividend and and sale of uh, sale of investments the other point i would like to mention again one shareholder mentioned that we would have to appoint two new audit firms for conducting the audit for 2122 the corporation is in the process of identifying suitable audit firms and the requisite approval of the members will be sought in the near future and this is again a mandatory requirement by the reserve bank of india 
to have two auditors and to change the existing auditors. Uh, regarding Mr. Irani and Mr. Nasser Manji, the entire board would have liked them to continue, but they have completed two five-year terms. And again, this is according to the regulations that they mandatorily have to step down. The, the court, and we are in the process of identifying suitable candidates for the appointment of new directors and the requisite approval of the members will be, will be sought shortly. Reappointment of Mr. Mistri is for three years and not for five years. Now, many, many shareholders asked about COVID. Let me say the total em employees impacted in HDFC Limited were 809. 805 have recovered. One has deceased, while three are still under treatment. While HDFC sales we had 224 impacted for COVID, 221 have recovered, two have passed away and one is active. I think one shareholder also mentioned that the cost income ratio has come down to 7.7% compared to nine because of the, uh, due to lockdown and restrictions leading to lower expenses, lower travel expenses, lower conveyance expenses, electricity expenses, and stationery and printing and other expenses have come down. The, the other point I'd like to make is um, average all India age in HDFC is 35 and the total male female ratio is 74 to 26. Total number of employees on 5th July are 3,379. 85%, that is 2,858, have been vaccinated with a single dose, at least with one dose. Many have taken two doses. Uh, Mr. Tiwari, also, Tiwari had asked about measures HDFC is taking to ensure safety of its employees. A daily health declaration app to track the health of employee and family members has been installed. Employees with comorbidities, expecting mothers, women employees with children below one year of age are advised to work from home. COVID task force has been created at all our main branches. Our offices are functioning at maximum 50% capacity. However, as you know, different states have different guidelines and we strictly go by the guidelines issued by different states. And we have prepared detailed standard operating procedures and guidelines and circulated it to all our employees. Back to work and back to office handbooks have been prepared. Um, I mentioned about the COVID. Office rentals on cost-cutting measures, you wanted to know what were the cost-cutting measures. Office rentals were renegotiated across the country. Since there was a reduction in domestic and international travel, I mentioned all this. No increments to employees was given for the period 19 and 20. For the financial year 1920, no increments were given. Rationalization of manpower and recruitment of manpower only on a need-based basis. Now let me now let me go to the first question, Asha Lata Maheshwari. I think we, the board of directors, would also like a physical meeting. We have done this for two years. Hope we can meet personally next year. Uh, you, you wanted bonus. This is our 44th year. I think the board has, we have a full attendance. The board members have heard you. Uh, you must understand we are a financial company. We have to be cautious, we have to be conservative, we have to be prudent. We can't just declare dividends freely. Our last bonus was in 2002. And I think our last split was in 2010. Now, in 2010, we did split the shares. Now the request is to split from two to one. We'll have a look at it. The board has heard you. Um, 
I think Agarwal and his team have done a remarkable job. I think every board meeting, the board recognizes the role played by Ajay and his team for sending minutes, sending board papers, contacting the shareholders. So we also, on my behalf, I would like to thank the secretarial team led by Ajay Agarwal for the phenomenal work that they have been doing. Uh, Ashalata ji also said, Keki Mistri, Keki Mistri always comes out with good results. He's very hardworking and some of the answers I'm sure he will give after I complete. Santosh Saraf. Again, Ajay Agarwal awards deposit to be more attractive. Now we have deposit products which suit investors across all age groups. Our monthly income plan, the MIP, along with other interest payout options like quarterly interest payment, half yearly or annual interest payment, are a preferred investment for senior invest for senior citizens who require steady and regular income. Similarly, we also offer cumulative option where interest is compounded annually and paid on maturity, which is also a scheme which we have. Then uh, you uh, deposit to make it more attractive, extend the term of deposits. You wanted it for a longer period. Work from home, I've answered. Uh, personal meeting after COVID, yes, we can look at it. Vaccination also, I have answered. Uh, Lekha Shah, thank you for the arrangements. And um, you were happy with that. Mark to market investments at HDFC at HDFC Limited on March 31st, 2021. The unrealized gains is 2 lakhs and 61,590 crores. Now I know Mr. Bapat and Mr. Uh, Deepak Kapoor and I think one other gentleman did talk about it, Tamal. But let me answer that when their turn comes. So we carry an unrecognized gain of 2 lakhs and 61,000. This is a, again, someone mentioned that there are two types of accounting standards. And uh, some of our subsidiaries use the Indian gap. We have to use INDAS. In so it just gives a little distorted view. Um, Lekasha also asked amount and name of PSU. NPA provisions have been made. We don't have any PSUs which have gone under our NPA. So we have arranged vaccination camps across the country for our employees. As I mentioned, 85% have been vaccinated. All the branches, offices of HDFC follow the guidelines issued by the respective state governments, local authorities, the permitted number of employees work from office after maintaining requisite protocols and the remaining employees work from home. Uh, <clears throat> Sir Kaushik Saukar, I know Mr. Saukar, I have met you in the past on a number of occasions. I know you are a chartered accountant and um, you wanted Ajay to contact you after the meeting. I know you have you have some disabilities and if you want uh, if we can give any certification work or any possible work we've always I've always told our uh, uh, the management to see if any work can be given to you so we will try I think they have Mr. Rangan is here Ajay is here they've heard you uh, number five is Patel Ajay, Ajay Agarwal Takey mystery three years. He didn't want five years. The, we could have given him ten years, but he didn't want even three years. The board has to force the board has to force him on accepting a three-year term. Um, then total debt. You wanted now we are a lending agency. The total debt number is more important in a manufacturing company and the debt equity. Our total debt is 4.4 lakh crores. Um, increase in bank shares to 30% I don't think will be permitted by the Reserve Bank of India. 189.2, uh, 189, 189 crores 
odd is the amount of CSR. Our 2% target was 169.21, but we were carrying forward some old commitments which we have completed at the end of this year, a commitment which we had given to the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. This was on interpretation issues of what percent, 2% uh, profits after what deductions. So we clarified it with the Ministry of Company Affairs and over the last three years, we made up the laws. So that's why it shows carry forward 15, 16 of 20 crores. So total is 189 crores. Third wave, we all have to wait and see, but everyone whom what I read and what I hear says that as more and more people are vaccinated across the world, even if the third wave comes, the impact, the severity is not going to be that severe. And we've seen in some other countries that there is no need for hospitalization and there is no need for uh, ICU beds. Let's hope we, uh, we in India get more and more people vaccinated. The key is more vaccination. Um, ergo and life, we are very happy with our investments in both of them. We had to reduce them because the Reserve Bank of India asked us to reduce our share holding in Ergo from 50.6 to 50. Manoj Gupta, you are happy with the results. Ajay Agarwal, impact of COVID I've mentioned, split. I know you mentioned split that you need liquidity. It's better for liquidity. It is better for increasing the number of shareholders. It is also better for market improving market capitalization. Uh, we understand that. And I'm sure the board will consider it at the right time. You were happy with the CSR. You recommended bonus debentures. I'm sure Keki has made a note of it and he'll have a look at it. Um, hard action on during covid i don't think we have taken any 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 severe action against any employees um, come to calcutta i would love to come to calcutta if we are able to or kolkata as you say if we are able to travel and customers impact of covid i just wanted to say that customers are continuing to be served through the online platforms of the corporation and uh, on the liquidity you mentioned, uh, we have gradually unwound the high liquidity levels as seen in the previous quarter. You see, the first wave of COVID, there was total shortage of liquidity, shortage of capital. Uh, companies were unable to raise money. So we had to keep a much larger buffer as liquidity. So the average daily balance in the uh, liquid funds for the quarter ended has come down. And with the various liquidity measures taken by RBI, the corporation is maintaining comfortable liquidity levels and minimize the negative carry which we have. The more the liquidity we keep, there is a negative carry. Any plans to list any other companies? Not, not for the moment. List Argo is not for the moment. Increase rate for senior citizens. I've talked about it. We already give a 0.25% increase. Mrs. Mascarenes, everyone is talking about Ajay Agarwal, Ajay Agarwal. I think you, Ajay Agarwal, we should make chairman now. Again, Mrs. Mascarenes, you were happy with the awards. Interest rate, I told you we give 0.25 more for senior citizens. Organ, uh, inorganic acquisitions, I, we are always open for acquisitions and we are always keeping our ears and eyes open if any good proposal comes to us. Um, loans under CLSS, as on 31st March 2021, 2.54 lakh beneficiaries have been given, have been awarded the CLSS scheme, 2.54 lakhs. Um, 15, we, we have uh, uh, this. So the loans, these are individuals. The loans have been 39,333 to these 2.54 lakh individuals, where the subsidy amount is 5,211 crores. We feel in HDFC that this is an excellent scheme. 
for a first time homeowner because he gets some down payment up front and he's able to meet the requirements and it has worked seamlessly because the government allocates the money to national housing bank and we get a reimbursement from national housing bank and you would be glad to know that we every year we have done the highest amount of loans under CLSS we have about a 16% share of the of the government subsidy now you wanted insurance you know we are a very strong company since beginning we are triple a why should we take insurance pit and pay insurance premium to get our uh, deposits matured and we are not a bank so we don't come under this deposit guarantee corporation um our goal listing i said it will take time but we will look at it at the right time happy with the results and ajay agarwal mr maskerenes uh yusuf rangwala ajay agarwal meeting you you have been taken care of people have looked after you and got you on the link lic housing yes lic housing is a competitor and we compete with lic housing and they are very well run company we have nothing against lic housing it's a well run company now we looked at uh divan housing or some other companies you talked about but we look at all these opportunities only if we find it worth looking at it or worth pursuing we go further into it gautam tiwari <clears throat> ajay agarwal happy with the team you talked about bonus 50 years may be a good time to look at a bonus December 2002 I mentioned Argo Credila listing we are still small we have to wait for some time and grow these companies before they are ready vaccinated I talk about vaccination um cost cutting also I mentioned there has been enormous efforts on cost cutting and um for reappointment wishing bright and shiny future on this reappointment of um, uh, mr nasser manji and irani the pooling off period is 3 years according to sebi someone asked in 6 months can we get them back the period is 3 years ronald fernandez um, i mentioned is there any employee i mentioned uh, cost income ratio has come down to 7.9% mr tiwari rbi being the new regulator of the corporation uh hdfc is classified as nbfc hfc rbi is the new regulator nhb continues to perform certain functions as mandated by nhb last bonus i gave you subdivision we talked about okay now ronald fernandez right again you wanted bonus golden jubilee you are always very positive and you do all the number calculations which goes above my head dipankar purka esta <clears throat> complex structure simplify stand alone mortgage company let there be a holding company like bajaj finance <clears throat> asset light strategy now this is all well said but you see if you are a holding company who's going to give us the capital bajaj bajaj is a family run company bajaj finance can put any amount of money in the holding company when their subsidiaries need money if hdfc splits itself into two companies the housing vertical and a holding company where would we raise money all the time when all our subsidiaries need money so it's it's a little complex we are not a family run company many family run companies have this holding company concept 70% relationship with the bank is bilateral it's not mandatory bank is very useful to us because they source loans from for us they are far more represented across the country than we are and so they procure the applications and they send it to us and we appraise it we disperse it and 30% is the bilateral arrangement which they buy back 
we have developed uh, <clears throat> we have developed skills to go into tier 2 and tier 3 cities a fair amount of our business is now coming from smaller cities so the grew the divestment has not impacted us and uh, uh, we have opened small service centers in smaller smaller towns and smaller cities npa is a is a what is the new normal i wish the new normal is 1% but as you know because of covid families are having a difficult time we hope that covid is behind us and people don't lose jobs mortgage guarantee i don't think it's prevailing it's there but i don't think we have not used it i agree in eastern india we are very very small but we make up a little by doing higher csr in the eastern region um you know the 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 developers in eastern india are very few while the developer community who build houses are much more in southern india northern india and western india like we do construction finance to builders on a selective basis our construction finance book in east is very limited because there are very few organized developers with a good balance sheet with a strong reputation with a credible name uh shobna mehta shobna mehta um ajay agarwal balance sheet um, 21 to 23% dividend awards you were happy uh you wanted to know depositors above 50 or 100 crores savings on account of hold, uh, holding on agm actually the cost of holding physical agm virtual agm is exactly the same it's cost us about 7 odd lakhs about 7 odd lakhs even for digital you wanted to know names of depositors over 50 crores this is a private information we are not allowed to uh, give out these names ma'am i'm glad you were able to connect after uh, the initial time when your turn came you were unable to connect us but we could hear you very clearly Adil Irani This is the first time I have heard I have known my friend UK Sina for many years but this is the first time I have heard you called him United Kingdom Sina I think it's a very good idea we all will call him United Kingdom Sina <clears throat> You know your issue about tax and one window tax 15h form it's really not in our hands it's really the finance ministry that has to take you want a rights issue we will look at it when we need more capital uh thank you for your comments um, i'm just seeing if i've missed out anything Okay, um, Atil Irani is done. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Where Sharad Kumar Shah and his family? No, we are not using blockchain. Ajay Agarwal is coordinating. You know, every year or twice a year, the Reserve Bank calls us with all our subsidiaries and associates, and all the regulators are there. and ajay agarwal coordinates that so in in effect he is a group secretary but without naming him as a group secretary see a quarterly one results which have been announced yesterday for the life and last week for the bank as well as the asset management company since we got the life numbers only yesterday we could not consolidate it on time and therefore our board meeting to consider the q1 results are in sub on september 2 um august 2nd uh sorry august 2nd sorry august 2nd i meant august 2nd you are happy with the 23 rupees dividend excellent company's annual report bandan what your uh, tenure figures you wanted uh, i'm sure angan has heard this we'll see if in a summary we can give uh, a, a longer period disbursement during june 21 was 79% higher compared to may 
retail disbursements during two one these will be announced but some of these numbers we had already given it to the stock exchange as i mentioned the accounts are not comparable because of the bandhan gain profit on sale of investments and dividend we were restricted to pay dividends the bank was restricted to pay dividends retail disbursements again these are numbers which we have given to the exchange are uh, higher by 18 181% in q1 last year april may june everything was under lockdown so there were no disbursements or no applications <coughs> the corporation is required to transfer shares for which dividend has been unclaimed for 7 years till date we have transferred 16 lakhs unclaimed shares corresponding to unclaimed dividend for 9 10 10 11 11 12 13 12 13 13, pertaining to 1769 shareholders and details of the shares transferred to the fund to the i i e p f has been uh, is available on the website of our corporation how much did we gain by selling 56% in grew to bandhan bank 9019 shivam kumar shah i think we have answered that nirlon you talked about nirlon now nirlon factory has been converted into a commercial block and yes we have funded the commercial block and now all the rents there and there are large companies like jp morgan and bank of america and others who are doing data processing and back office work there in goregaon and we are getting all the rents directly from the tenants <coughs> number 18 mr vora many years you have been with an fd fd holder thank you for your trust in us and you have been a shareholder i don't think this bandhan thing uh, you see microfinance companies are the first one getting impacted because of covid we have to give a couple of years after covid goes away for them to recover and get back to their original strength when we did this bandhan merger with gru there was no covid in sight and you know you were having difficulty about branches but we have a branch in lower parel so it's fairly close to where you are now we have a branch which takes deposits and online in in, in lower parel tamal tamal i thought you were a journalist and an author now you become a shareholder speaker and i was impressed by the number of books i saw behind you some of them must be authored by you i know that <clears throat> Ajay Agarwal, Q1 balance of the year, RBI feels 50% is is that um, the you know the profit we made by selling that 0.6% of Argo and good host which will which will be declared in this quarter on on 2nd of August. Cost income ratio has come down as you said. lost customers and gain customers is part of the game i think we lose less and gain more see yes bank was a rescue operation the entire financial system got together and under the supervision of the reserve bank and we all under and state bank was the lead and we all got together and decided to salvage yes bank because that improves the stability of the financial sector and it gives more confidence to retail depositors and uh, that's the reason we put some money in it and uh, we have a we have a prohibition from RBI we can't sell it for 3 years 25% of the stake can be sold but otherwise the balance can be sold after a period of time bandhan you mentioned brand value we get some money now on borrowing powers it was my mistake in the notice there are nine items but the first item is approval of account stand alone 
and the next item which is part of the first resolution is approval of consolidated accounts so number eight and nine i know there is no tenth resolution number eight and nine are special resolution which are borrowing powers and issuing or non non uh, convertible debentures um <clears throat> uh, and three four i agree insurance make it mandatory for uh, house borrowers many countries abroad has this mortgage insurance if you want a housing loan you have to take a insurance and that secures the housing loan also but you know there are different regulators we've tried in the past but we have not succeeded and unless the entire system does it if one housing finance does it then it doesn't make sense because the emi goes up and then they compare the emi between two organizations Rishikesh Chopra, secure remote connection uh, through VPN was provided to all the staff members that enable them to connect to the business applications and with proper control and authentication. We have implemented MS Teams as a collaboration tool. We have not asked any employees to leave. Cost cutting is a regular exercise. This this year, the cost cutting was much better because I mentioned rents and electricity and travel and these costs were reduced. We are always looking at new products, but it's a simple housing loan product is a vanilla product, and there's very little variations we can do to housing loan products. And we are only a housing finance company. Uh, Bharat. Bapat, Vinayak Bapat, I mentioned of NM and JJ, Ajay Agarwal. Um, you are happy with our uh, solar, solar panels. You are happy with our, um, our real estate portfolio, LED, outstanding loans after, uh, after sale, 73. Pie chart, I think Rangan and the finance team has heard you. Uh, you want uh, you want different items for uh, last year and this year comparison. Our CSR members, uh, they do not charge any fees. Jalaj Dani is a CSR member with the management, with myself, KT and Renu. We have regular CSR meetings and we've given the details in the report. I agree, all our companies have different regulators. We have five regulators in our group, starting from the Reserve Bank of India, SEBI, Insurance Regulator, National Housing Bank, and Pension Regulator. Amongst our companies, we have five different regulators. Uh, I think even on the, uh, you said there was some mistake on, on fees. Um, paid to independent directors and fees paid to me. I have a look, I had a look at it. One is about 1920 and one is about 2021. So there's no discrepancy there. Page 34 and 64, there is no discrepancy there. Your pie chart you, I mentioned. Um, data centers yes we have we have our data center and we do cross selling between our subsidiary companies and hdfc sales really brings us housing loans but they also sell insurance products mr jamadar new branches headwinds uh, See, Apollo, we, we merged with Apollo Healthcare and HDFC Ergo in order to increase our presence in the health insurance, which as after COVID will become the main growth area, according to me. We do not have, I don't think we have much in, in investment in any unicorns. Yes, education is a good area where we should look at even investment in tech education. Some of the valuations of Baiju's and other educate ed, and you tech companies have gone up significantly. Um, now, ESOPs, you mentioned Black Shoals. We are using 
whatever method we are using is as per SEBI requirements. We have no choice in that. Um, headwinds. Now, I think the only headwind I see is COVID. I don't see any other headwind. At the same time, I see a tailwind that people have realized that working from home, the children are studying from home, uh, joint family are working from home. And we see a lot of incremental housing happening during this time, people moving from one to two bedroom or two to three bedroom. So I think the, uh, the COVID realization is that they need a slightly larger home. It would be better to borrow and improve the space you have in your homes. ADR, GDR, we don't have any ADR, GDR at the moment. Uh, I think that's all what you asked your mother. Um, Humayun, yes, physical meeting. We all are waiting for a physical meeting. Manoj Maheshwari, um, bonus mentioned, HDB doesn't belong to us. It's a wholly owned subsidiary of the bank. The bank board will have to take a call. Uh, Argo, we will um, let it grow a little bit and then we will look at listing. Bharat Shah, you were happy with the dividend policy. Bonus, you wanted bonus and you were again happy with Ajay Agarwal and the team. Uh, we know the Agarwal also. Agarwal, you were happy with him. Um, I agree. Um, even for me, a hard copy is better to understand, to read, to mark, to note, rather than an online copy. It's extremely cumbersome and uh, very difficult to understand. Two accounting standards I've talked about. Um, Argo deduction was mandatory. And the profit will come during this quarter. We'll be announcing on 2nd August. Uh, Bala Subramaniam, you were happy with the CSR. We had some arrears which we have made up now, as I mentioned. Um, you are happy with the ESG. We want to be the best in that. We are trying hard. Yes, we did this QIP. And... Um, You were not happy with the QIP, I think, I, I thought. Restructured loans, wherever possible, we had to restructure loans. Uh, bonus you wanted, you wanted higher dividend. I think we've talked about that. Dinesh Bhatia, happy with the dividend. Uh, Hariram Choudhury, CSR spend. Members of the CSR committee, I mentioned Jalaj. Uh, Mr. Sangvi cooperation of the team, CLSS are mentioned. I agree, you said educate. We have to educate more of a uh, uh, sense of family, sense of saving. And uh, even one other question earlier was um, savings growth in India. I think Indians by nature are saving conscious for a rainy day. And despite COVID expenditure and health, additional health expenditure, which families have, and yes, the savings rate may have come down, but I'm convinced it is temporary and the savings rate will go up to its original level once we are behind COVID. You are happy, Mr. Sangvi, you said you are happy to uh, provide pro bono service. I'm sure Mr. Agarwal has heard you. Deepak Kapoor, investments in subsidiaries, how do we benefit? See, we do benefit. The bank gives us 25-30% of the loans that we do are sourced by HDFC Bank. Now, on the stock price being flat, we can't comment on the stock price. We personally, who work in HDFC field, we had a very good year considering the issues we had with the mobility, with the contactless or not contacting people, work from home, despite I think we have done quite well. And, you know, as you mentioned, housing and only outstanding housing loans are only 11% of GDP. It has only one way to go higher and higher. And if you see some of the neighboring countries of ours and some of the larger economies, it's in very high numbers. So we have to catch up. 
and so we are very positive on the future of hdfc now investment subsidiaries we do benefit as you know insurance if we can make our take health insurance if we can take our make our employees life products then our safe these are all interconnected businesses that's the reason we have gone into this mr madhavya csr you were happy with that um 189 crores we have a comprehensive section on our website on our esg initiatives we request you to kindly check the same I think I've answered all. Kiki, do you want to take on? If you have, if I've missed out some, I think Deepak, you answered most, but just maybe one or two which I could add to. Uh, I, Mrs. Patel, speaker number five. There was a question on foreign exchange expenditure. What does a foreign exchange expenditure we incur for? So there are two types of foreign exchange expenditure. One is the interest that we pay on overseas borrowings, on external commercial borrowings. And the other is the expenses we incur on our overseas offices. Uh, Gautam Tiwari, his question was on the outlook for the real estate sector in India, residential real estate sector. And I think the Deepak partly answered that. I think the sector is set to grow. Uh, it is there is a structural demand that will keep coming for housing in the years to come for a variety of reasons. One is housing is today a lot more affordable than it ever was in the past. Secondly, penetration levels of mortgages, someone mentioned, is only 11%. That, compared to other countries in our neighborhood, is much, much lower. Thirdly, if you look at the demographics in India, two-thirds of our population is below 35 years of age. And understand people in India, people generally look at buying a house only when, when they are in their late 30s. So a lot of people today have not even thought of buying a house. But over the next one, three, five, seven, ten years, all these younger people will get to an age where they will necessarily need. My sense is we will see a continuous structural increase in the demand for housing in India. Also, the pandemic, Deepak mentioned, uh, because of the pandemic, it has created a need for people to look at bigger houses, larger houses, uh, more spacious houses and things like that. Tamal Machumdar, a couple of questions. Uh, uh, one is on the sale of Ergo shares and good host. Deepak, you mentioned profits will be booked in the first quarter of this year. Total profit will be 263 crores. Uh, his question was also on provisioning made during financial year 21. So total provision was 2,948 crores. Third question was on warrants. The warrant money that we received, 180 rupees per share, has gone as a credit to the equity capital. Uh, it is There is a note reflecting this. The details of this note are on page 159, and the note number is 26.6. Now, in addition to the 180 rupees that have been paid by the warrant holder, the warrant holder also has to pay us 2,165 rupees a share at the time of uh, converting the share, converting the warrant into a share. The last date for conversion is 11th August 2023. So the total issue price will be 180 rupees plus 2,165, which is 2,345 rupees. Insurance, you mentioned, insurance cannot be made mandatory as per NHB guidelines. Uh, name usage fees, he asked, total name usage fees we received was 192 crores. Uh, Mr. Bala Subramaniam asked about uh, why we issue capital, and I think that was also a question which uh, Deepak Kapoor had asked. The primary reason we raise capital is because HDFC, besides being a mortgage company, is also a financial holding company. So we need to invest in our subsidiaries. We need to invest capital to fund their fund their uh, with the capital requirements. Now, the regulatory requirement is India in India is that any investment we make in any of our subsidiaries is a direct reduction from our tier one capital. So therefore, when we raise, when we put the capital into the bank or into any of our subsidiaries, that amount that we have invested directly gets reduced from our tier one capital. So it has a direct impact on our capital ratio. So as and when we get good acquisition opportunities in our subsidiaries, uh, that capital will get deployed. 
I think that that finishes all the questions. Thank you, Keki. Uh, as mentioned earlier, those who want to vote may do so now. The e-voting facility would be available for the next half an hour. The corporation has appointed Mr. Bhaskar Upadhyay, partner of NL Bhatia and Company, and associates practicing company secretaries as scrutinizer to scrutinize the e-voting process in a fair and transparent manner. I authorize Mr. Ajay Agarwal, company secretary, to receive and declare the voting results along with the scrutinizer's report. Intimate the same to stock exchanges and place the same on the corporation. The resolution as set forth in the notice shall be deemed to be passed today, subject to receipt of requisite number of votes. With your permission, I call this meeting to an end. Thank you for attending. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Bye bye, Mr. Irani Nasa.
Dear members, as instructed by the scrutinizers, we request all the members participating in the AGM and who have not yet cast their vote to do so in the remaining period of 10 minutes. Thank you.
Dear members, as advised by the scrutinizers, the time for e-voting has elapsed. This concludes the proceedings of AGM. Thank you for your participating in the AGM and e-voting. Thank you.